Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. Happy good Friday, indeed. Ah, we've just entered an eight-day drought. Eight-day drought in the game. Did you all have a good week? I went to the Electric Everything show yesterday, down at the Excel. That was quite good. That was quite fun. Me and Mr. Squirrel had a little day out down there. I'll tell you what, it wiped me out though. Flipping heck, I was so tired. <laughs> All that walking around. I must have sat in about 50 different electric cars. <laughs> Included some pretty wacky ones. Blimey. Oh boy, I'm going to have to catch up here. Hang on, one second. How many games do I own? <sighs> Too many. Uh, Giddy, 79 months. Chris for you with 81. Punterman with 11. Anexa with 55. Benji T with 82. Osprey with 7. Timmy Boy with 110. MB with 35. Samati with 80 months. Nice round number. Kieran dropping 10 subs. Welcome, guys. Thank you very much, Kieran, for dropping 10 subs on the chat. Enjoy your new emotes, guys. Uh, and don't forget to give Kieran 110101 a thank you. I think he told us what that stands for. I can't remember now. 110101. Was it? Oh, that was it. It's because he's born on the 11th of January 2001. I can't remember. Something like that. Or was it 1st of 11th? Because I can't remember if he's American or not. Anyway, Casper Korn with tier 2. 62 months. Thank you, Casper. Uh, Gamercore 53. DeBond with 37. Rob Hughes with 27 months. Yachts 10 or Yachts X. No, it's Yachts 10. We're not, we're not doing Roman numerals. We don't do that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have had to have had Yacht, Yachts 1X last year, wouldn't I? Yacht 6. I'm not doing it. Congratulations on tr tremendous achievement. Thank you for the years of entertainment. Just ordered the hoodie. Can't wait. Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, Pape has gifted a sub to Trucker J. 64 months. Blimey, pups. Have you run into some cash, mate? <laughs> Can I have some? <laughs> Mick's Lick with 99 months. Very close. Very close to 100. Where's your nut, D22? I think you lost it, my man. I think you lost your nut. Uh, I've just thought to myself... I've just built this little platform here and put some little lumberjack things up. And put them down as a lower workplace item. Um, because what I thought, while this is all drying out, why don't we just get this wood? This will be a good area for wind turbines, I think. I want a lot more wind turbines. We're in a drought. Our current demand is good on the network. While there's a drought, I may build this out as a proper levee rather than what it currently is. Uh, that way we can control what goes on here. And also allows us to build across it, I think. So there's currently a gap there, interestingly. Uh, Adobe, thank you for the gift and a sub to D22. Welcome back, D22. Uh, Danny QFG with a tier 2. 58 months, 10 years. I can remember you going full-time playing City Skylines. Is that what I was doing? Oh, is that what you're doing? <laughs> thank you for tier 2, sir. Jason, 20150 with 100 months of support. He has just hit the badge. The VIP badge. Jason, thank you very much for 100 months. That is insane. Um, mods, could you post in the memo chat? Uh, Jason20150, and I'll give him a VIP badge in the break. If I remember. <clears throat> Terms and conditions apply. Trucking Pitbull with 115. Just curious to know if you're going to play Railroader. Yes, I am. We're going to play Railroader on Monday, as it happens, Trucking Pitbull. I will be playing Railroader this Monday. Harm27, thank you for tier 3, 93 months. Almost the big number. You are close. End of the year, in fact. End of the year. Holy moly. God, that's loud. Harm27 has dropped 25 subs on the chat. Welcome, guys. If you're here, please give Harm27 a big thank you. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for your support. 25 subs gifted. Incredible. You can't wait to see that stream again. What? Railroader? Thanks for waking us up, Harm. I needed that. <laughs> right. 
seven days left on the old uh, drought here. We're doing okay for water. We do have our dam up here. We just need to keep our eye on these levels. Uh, I was thinking about possibly some other dam area here, but it's the difficulty is that water supply. That's what's difficult about it. Like, how do we raise the water up into a dam? The alternative is that we drop the level down and then pump it out or something. Or I put a dam gate here so that I can take water out of there into into this area if I need to. I don't know. I would just allow that to dry up and don't care about it. That's the alternative. The only thing is if I want to, if I want to grow around here, if I want to grow in this area, I need this to be watered. And this is a drop bar. So it is particularly difficult to get this area green um, if there's no water here. Pump it up is a bit difficult though, isn't it? Because I need to pump it up at the same rate that it's flooding in. I think it's a tricky problem, that one. Because if the pumps stop running because we lose power, because the pump is a mechanical pump, isn't it? Uh, it's a, that one large water pump. No, that's a manned one. Mechanical fluid pump, 700 horsepower. So it's a bit of a drain, and I don't think one of those could keep up with three input tiles of water. King Awesome, thank you for 96 months, sir. Four months away. Jack Sparrow, 37. Emma Hoffman with four years. Happy anniversary. Do I get a quarter of a hundred month batch? <laughs> no. No, you don't. But thank you anyway for four years. <laughs> Emma Bob, thank you for 22 months. Uh... Bit too fast for you with 112. How are you doing, sir? Hope you've got a lovely fast electric chair going on. Tuscan with 77. Happy Easter weekend. And of course, Merry Christmas, pups. Oh, he went there. How's the power doing? We've still got a good power supply, funnily enough. Um, we need to get more people. If you look at this, we've got 28 vacancies. 54 kids. That's the global view. District 1 has got 52 kids going on, 27 vacancies, so they're about to... There's, there's a mass baby boom going on in this district. <laughs> and when it happens, we're going to have to accommodate them over here. So I need bed spaces over this side of town. But when all these babies grow up, I need to pump them into this district. So I better stick some housing over this side, I think. When that happens... Um, how do we, st we want to stack these, don't we? Wait, how's the water supply doing? Hmm. I wouldn't mind another tank up here, actually. This building is not connected to any paths. That's very true. It's not. But it is now. Uh, let's see, spider dock, bread, stuff, and something else. What else do we want here? There's not much point choosing grilled potatoes because we never grow enough of it. I think we have too much grilled spider dock, so I would, I'm would going to go with that, I think. <coughs> we also have too much bread, as it, as it happens. 629 in this district. 1.8k in that district. Actually, maybe I'll make it bread. You asked how your week was, was installing an electrical drive system on a Chrome trailer. Nice. Anybody think you're a mechanic? Terraman, thank you for 15 months. You want to know how close it is to release? That's a very good question. I don't know. <laughs> um, how do we get... So the problem with the staircase, maybe I should have put the staircase further back. Because you kind of want to get up from here, don't you? Maybe you just put another level up this way. Like if I want to stack some more of those homes, how do we, how do we get up there? 
since there's no spiral case. Spiral stair case. Can you put a platform on top of a staircase? No, you can't. Can you put a double platform on top of a staircase? Yes, you can. Which means that if that wasn't a sing no, if it wasn't a single, it wouldn't work, would it? Wouldn't be able to walk down there at all. Hmm. There must be a pattern here. How do we get another level up? Do I ever have to come to the end and then spiral upwards? That seems a bit rubbish. Oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> double, double star from the other side, maybe. Really, we want to be at what? That height, is it? No, we need to be at, effectively at that height. That's where the next entrance would be. Which means you want to double up from here. Entrance is on the outside. Yeah, but I mean, I was trying to work out a pattern that would just keep repeating, so you could just keep building upwards. Some repetitive pattern. I guess you would need a spiral staircase down here. How do you build a spiral staircase in this thing? Up, up, up. Maybe four tiles, maybe. You'd want it to end like that. Which means... You'd want it like that. Now you see, you can't, you can't turn and climb. That's the annoying thing. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get over here for a second. Systems themselves are connected to each other, so if you want to uh, change it, you only need one plug. Systems themselves are connected to each other. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? Like, they can go into these rooms, and go into these rooms, go into these rooms. But if I build another house on top of this one like that, I need to somehow get another platform level up there. But how do we... How do we elevate up whilst not disrupting this? He's talking about his real life thingy. Cool. <laughs> oh. <gasps> One sec. Is this water gone? No. Panic. A bit of water through that. No worries, McKay. <laughs> Depth 9.71. Oh, I forgot I had dynamite laid down though. Oh, I remember. We've got it laid through here, haven't we? Yeah, I'd have to dynamite that and then put a staircase through. Also, we'd have to dynamite under this. And then that needs replacing. I think the idea was to create a deeper drop-off so that that water drops off into here. Did I build the mud bath? I don't believe I did. Build the mud bath. Your router died this week, mechanic. Rip. Rest in peace. <laughs> um, Terra Man, have we done you 15 months? I think we did. How are you on the internet if, if your router died? Exactly. I tell you what we've not had yet, we've not had a bad water test to see how the how it fares under bad water. Hmm. 
I'm thinking I should get into um, bot construction. Uh, thank you for 77 months. Oh, excuse me. Not on the whole bot thing yet. At all. Mechanical fluid pump, bad water dome, power, science, refinery, Produ produces fuel for bots. Wait, you can use, is that a spider dock? That second one down? Is that grilled spider dock? Interesting. Very interesting. Bot assembler requires a bot and four arms and a head. To make a body, you need five planks, one bit of metal, one barrel of electric. Is that a battery? Then you need cogs and planks to make an arm, cogs, planks and steel to make a head. That's fuel. Hmm. Okay. I think we can probably get into this chain. I reckon. I reckon that's doable. This guy's cutting down wood though, which is good. He's putting wood here, which means we can build some stuff over here now. Which I think we'll do. We'll start off by demolishing that. staircase down from here once they build that I think as well as that we'll have a walkway going on Stranded again. Nah. I'm hoping they'll not be stranded soon. They're just being idiots again. <laughs> it's just... Like, uh, it's it just, you know, yeah. I mean, why, seriously, why can't you just jump down? I just don't understand. Are, we, are you seriously saying I'm going to have to basically do this just so I can demolish that? Is That's how it looks right now. Just so I can have a hope of rescuing them from this. And he's going to be stuck. Oh no, he could walk from there to there. Let's low prioritize that one. And then he should do that one. Oh, well, you're sleeping outside because you're stupid. It's your own death fault. Oh, we've got six vacancies going on. Where's that? Oh, we don't have any. Wait, what? Where have they gone? Those vacancies suddenly... Wait, what? No, they came back again. But they're not there in District 1 or 2, but they are in the global view. What? Is that because of those guys, maybe? Maybe it's these guys. The other thing is, I think I'd like to build another battery. Another gravity battery here. Like that. Boom. 
And while we're at it, we'll prepare the ground for another one of these. Six hundred metal. We're good for metal, but we need another metal source, which we have over here. As soon as we've got some more workers online, we'll start grinding this out. Perhaps we'll build the storage areas for it now. Underground pile. Let's do that. That will be a scrap metal supply point. Have that as a low priority workplace for now. Also, this is not desperate to build. Need a power shaft there to connect the fourth gravity battery. No, we don't. Do we? Yes, we do. Yeah, because it won't be connected physically. So you are correct, sir. Um, if I build a power, mm, this is awkward actually. Because if I build a connector, it'll effectively cut off walking along this platform to build another one. Which is somewhat awkward. I think what we'll have to do is build another one and then connect them. That would stop us building another one here, potentially. Or we build... What we could do is build... Like that, and then connect them like that. And then connect that one through there like that. I think that would do it. But I'd have to start detonating all this up, which we can do. What does that drop? Is it there? I think it's there. You're thinking of two more. Yeah. Think big, right? It's a crazy amount of gravity batteries. That's insane. Oh well. Out of the recharge. So basically, when your power network is like this, it's supplying 6,000 horsepower. The current demand is 3,600. So when there's a surplus of power, these blocks get lifted up. And then when there's a demand for power and less supply, they lower down to generate power, effectively. I misplaced a dynamite. Yes, I did. Okay, so we've got that up and running. So that's sealed off now, which is nice. Can now get over there if we need to. We are collecting this wood up and storing it. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think some of the kids may have been born. I'm not sure. Food's building up. I kind of feel like we need some more water storage in this part of town. Let's get another large tank going, I think. Yeah, I think <clears throat> this district should produce metal, and I reckon this will be the bot factory. We'll make bots here in this district. Because at the moment, we don't have the water supply sorted, really. But we can get wood over here, but that's a, a one-off thing.
Just going to make a pathway over there. Might as well harvest that wood while we can. Are you going to leave the small storage you built when establishing the district? Um, this lot? Yeah, I don't see why not. I think it's a, a useful supply point for this town, isn't it? We could just move it, but it's a bit of dead space that's being used for something. I don't see any harm in it. I am wondering about our supply chain. 2.2k of planks. I, I think that's going down. That's not full. We have a lot of logs. Um, I think we need more lumber mills. Make some more planks. And I think it might be time to get rid of the hamster wheels. I just don't see any use for them anymore with the amount of batteries we've got going on. So I think we're just going to trash this lot. And then we can use that space for something else. Probably want to reroute this power down the back side like that. Maybe we don't need to do anything with it. We just line up the buildings alongside, we won't, we won't need to do any of that. We'll just trash all that. Uh, Mr. Beto, thank you for five months. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, Wood, let's get the lumber mills going. Some more of them. How are we doing for gears? 228 gears. We need some more of them as well. One point three hours to make a plank. Three hours to make a gear. Local storage for planks and gears and stuff. I'm thinking perhaps we'll use this dead space over here. If we basically get rid of that. Don't know how they're going to get up there. That's the only problem. We'll have to build them a step to get up there, I think, so they can do it. Yeah. Awkward. It's the old scaffolding problem. And basically, I'm thinking we can use this area for storage. <laughs> I'd also want another probably two gear thing, I think. Let's get power into the building.
Oh, blimey. I had to put that one in. How on earth is he going to put this one in here? That's hilarious. <laughs> are your gear factories paused? Um, I, yes, they are paused. I think I did that. Because we didn't have enough workers. Oh, actually, these are explosives. I don't need so many of those. 177. We'll leave some on. Gear workshop. I think some of the kids have grown up. So we're doing a bit better. I think our bread's starting to wear down. District 1. 1.6k of bread over here. Hmm. They've nicked all the bread. <laughs> the other districts have just imported bread. <laughs> and they're leaving these guys a bit short. <laughs> All right, they'll, they'll, they'll bake some more, I'm sure. Also, water's starting to get a little bit low. By eight days, 0.21. Add a bit more fruit. That's getting very low into here. This is where I can't let water into this area because I'd need to change the dam in order to do it. But I am making that deeper. So that water will flow down when I make it deeper. I did shut the bakery down, but I think I just restarted it. That one there. I've unpaused the bakery. Normally we're full up on stuff, you see. Like wheat. Uh, didn't we discover that water flows in from the other side because all is level now? Um, okay, so... It's level... This is the level we're trying to get to. This is what that's on. But this other side is not on that level at the moment. It will be when we detonate through. And we also need to replace them. With higher ones. Which I could do at the moment quite easily. But we should probably do it now. I think. Why is the water back flowing? It's coming out of here and back flowing. I think these need replacing, basically. So we're going to have to drop those down one. Blow this area. Put some double dams back. And then that will all link through once we then get rid of all this stuff through here. It's fine. We, we've only got 1.4 days left and the dam's pretty full still, so. Just need some dynamite over here, please, peeps. There they come. Okay. They've done that? No, they've done half a job. Uh, Lone Wolf, thank you for 49 months. Almost bullseye. Andy, thanks for 91. Happy Easter to you. Kieran, thank you for gifting subs to Kalarin and Nurston. Welcome, guys. Thank you for the anonymous gift to UK Phil UK. 
Welcome, Phil. You sound very British. You're right, you can't get the staff nowadays. I should put them all longer hours. Right, you know what, I'm going to do that. Remind me to set that back. We'll have a long day today. Get stuff done, day. Not to death, but, you know, work them properly. Because if they're going to do half jobs, that tells me we need longer days. Less of the old slacking, pal. Boom, boom. Right. That needs to be a double. Rhubar. We could just make that land, couldn't we? Terrain block. Let's build that. So that needs a staircase down so they can finish that off. That will need to be destroyed. And we'll need a new sensor back in there. Uh, this needs to be detonated as well. Farmer Gav, thank you for 99 months, sir. You are very close to VIP. Next month. Sensor in there. These can now go. Um, right, we need a way down here now. We also need to get rid of these. I don't think they'll be able to get to these squares still, which is really annoying. Perhaps what we can do is build a connecting walkway through here. Um, that's not going to work, is it? just to fill them in. Okay, we're getting there. So that water's flowing back into this now, dropping into that area, which is nice. That is critically low. Fine. That's getting very low as well. The game makes you feel cozy. <laughs> oh, hang on. 
There's some stuff going on over here. Let's get rid of that one. That's better. Frustrating. Actually, hmm. That's a three high. They can definitely do that. I feel like I need to get rid of this, even though it's going to be really fat. put stuff on these two. Nope, not that one, that one. And we can claim that space. Uh, Mr. Podway, thank you for 28 months. Good morning. Uh, signal, thanks for five. Uh, also move the path onto platforms to game space. Yes. Yep. So what you're saying? So you're basically saying... Forget the right height. Effectively do this. We can use that land. We could even fill this up, to be honest. Now we have terrain blocks. We can actually do that. Because why not? Well, let's have all the land. I would love to see trend lines here to see whether the planks are increasing or decreasing. Hey. Drought cycle ended. Let's close off the dams. Well, I think we normally run that on a very slight overflow like that. Seriously, can't reach that. That can go. Let's make sure we don't flood ourselves. We don't want water going that way anymore, I don't think. Thir Imagine 30 days of bad tide, Beaker. That is brutal. You'd have to have your house in order to cope with that. Surely they can reach that. Once that's built, they should be able to reach that and there. Can't they just stand on the staircase and, like, put it next to it? It seems a bit rubbish. They finish over here where the bad tide comes out. Yep. G 
Okay, we've got better control over the outflow anyway. Just need to watch the water levels now. I think it'd be nice if these, like, water gauges, I don't know, had, like, a coloured icon over them that showed roughly where they are without having to click on it. You know what I mean? Like, like a range, a green, orange, red. Like, if it was literally about to fill up, it should just show red. Just so you could keep your eye on it. Ventilators might not be as painful as you think. The only thing you have to worry about is watering crops. Drinking water can be pumped, in, pumped from the bad water. Which is the one that filters good water out of bad water, then? I didn't, didn't think you could do that. Bad one with contamination slows it down. I'm not sure that works, Phil. Oh, come on. Are you telling me that he can put that one down there, but he can't put that one down there? What? That is incredibly dumb. Yeah, Jeff's like, oh, I can't, can't reach boss, just can't reach that. That's low. That's low. I'm about to just let some more water out for now. Maintenance staircase. Still working them 18 hours. All right, we'll drop it back. All right, union guy. We'll, we'll knock it back to 16. Crisis is over. That was me thinking they got used to it, you know, but no. Every time I detonate, these batteries get bigger. 
24,000. 24, 24. Wait, there's more room down there. All the way to the bedrock. It's really awkward trying to look down this thing. Sink. Okay, right. Dam's flowing. Finally putting stuff there. That's that gone. Okay, I think we're done though. This looks like it's getting very high, though. One point six. Back that off a little bit. Water management. Uh, what's that on? Zero point six. Okay. That coming through. Yep. That's now flowing out. Another thought I had about this area here was to maybe dig it down and then wall it off and then put a pump to send it back out of here. If you see what I mean? Because we've got access to power. So we could link up mechanical pumps and we could effectively sink this down as a reservoir and then pump it back over the top so it spills back into here if we need it. Because that is at the same level as that. So any water pump there would just flow back up here potentially. That was another crazy thought I had. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dormer, thank you for 13. Jonas, thanks, 46. Another month of subscription in the pocket. Thank you, sir. Because it does bug me having this kind of dead space here. Is that the same depth as that? Yes, it is. You can also build high at the same time and use serious mechanicals. Yeah, but we can only pump from four, can't we? A mechanical pump can pump to a maximum depth of four. So, in theory, we could drop this area down. We could build a wall here at this height. How much can this water hold? 
Yeah, that's what it's limit. The so we could have one block up and then go three blocks down. No, one, two, two blocks down. Go two blocks down, one block up, that's four. And that then acts as a buffer onto that if we need it. It's an idea. Not strictly necessary. You can have it in levels like canal gates. Hmm. <laughs> In theory, you could do that here. You could pump up multiple levels like that, couldn't you? And have a water storage up here. Just pump it up from there and just keep it up here and then just send it in all directions. <laughs> Maybe just blow that off and just flatten it to here and then just have a big reservoir right there. And then just pump up. Crazy. Like you say, like little canal locks going up. I kind of feel like this is the area I want more water I feel like we don't have any control over this water source at the moment if it can create a water source it actually what we should do is pump it out of here into a series of locks and store it up here from up here you could just let it all around this area that would be a good place for a dam Okay, right, how are we doing? I think we might have to open the gate down here. I'm still in two minds whether to build power wheels through this. The metal gatherers are flooded. Hang on. Hang on. This bit. Yeah, because I didn't open that. That's what it is. I didn't open the uh, the sluice gate that leaves the map. That's flooded this area. You could build up around either side of the water source. We could do. We could trap the water and then pump it out. Right. District 1 has eight unemployed people. And District 2 has six unemployed people. So it's definitely time to put them to work, isn't it? We can transfer some over from District 1 to District 2. Have we got the houses here? We have nine beds free. Let's do something with all this metal, I think. I think maybe I should have put this stuff up here. Oh well. I have to wait for that to not be flooded. Mr. Whiteland, tier 3, 128 months. How are you doing, sir? Thank you for the 7-bit subscription. We need for this to not be flooded right now.
You know what, I think it's almost worth just walling this bit off. Uh, pleasure to catch the live stream. Uh, Professor Charles, welcome. Right, let's get some bot construction going, I think. Need to uh, harvest those trees, I think. Right, a couple of jobs. It's nowhere convenient to store all this wood. I'll have to put it there for now. Got a lot more flooded pillars. I'm trying to get rid of it. It's gone from here now. It's uh, it's leaving the map. But I have a 0.5, I think. Otherwise, that happens. That floods pretty quickly. I think it's because I'm not letting it through here either. Oh, God. <laughs> Just when I solved it. <laughs> oh, dear. Stefan, how you doing? Thank you, 22 months. Thank you, Beaker. Yeah. Mistakes were made. I'm just saying it. Mistakes were made. It's fine. It's all good. Okay. What do you want our bot factory? I think we want it up here. Uh, let's see. What do we need for the bot factory? Got a local source of metal going on, or we will have as soon as I stop flooding the place. And we've got scrap metal there. Do we have a hauler in this district? Hauling post, we do. We have an unemployment, so let's get some haulers going. This is a good point. Have I got... Where's all my hauling things? Yep, they're all in 10. Okay. So they've got a hauler 10 going on. 14 beds in district. No, 9 beds. They need more beds. Can we build? If we build that, we can build a staircase on it. And if we build... Is 
Does that work? I don't think it does. It does work. I think. I think it works. Hang on. It does work. Okay, so there's there's a pattern. I'm gonna have messed up here. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. That shouldn't <laughs> That goes up there, then they come around, and then they can't get back up. It's really annoying. How do I get them back in there? Ah I know, I know. We've gotta go up here. Oh, this is just stupid. Why is there no spiral staircase? We've got to effectively do that, haven't we? Meh. A lot easier to go up with a gap of two between the houses. Ah, interesting. Yeah, maybe that's a, the, the solution. We'll try that on version two then. We'll have that as a self contained unit and try that. Don't know if they'll be able to reach these trees, but they can. Feel free to cut them. Spiral staircase is a mod only. It's frustrating, isn't it? Wait. Can't get all required materials. Gears. We have no gear supply in this place. That's not good. We definitely need a supply of gears. We'll do it up here out the way, I think. Large pile. Give me some gears. Nope, not from there. There's no dead space I can just nick, unfortunately. If this is the bot factory, they're going to need all the components up here. So what will they need? They're going to need the food, which they get back there for the fuel. Everything else is going to be planks, metal, gears. And then the factory itself. Yeah, three gears, three gears, like six gears. That's a lot of gears, isn't it? Blimey. I'm not storing 1,200 gears. I suppose I might have to. At least with this one, I can store it on the edge. No, you can't. Blimey. See, I reckon you should be able to press F and put, like, a vertical entrance in there. Like, a there's two levels to this thing. A ground entrance, and there should be an upper entrance. Okay, we're going to have a gear requester. That bit. I'll have to use that dead space when it's gone. Uh, the bots and bot parts are really slow to build, so you really need a huge amount. Mm. A huge amount of what? Storage? Or a huge amount of factories?
You don't need a huge amount of storage. So we don't need a massive warehouse of gears. Is that what you're saying? So we can get away with a medium. Okay, so in that case then we'll go with gear obtain. We'll go with um sp it's grill spatter dock, isn't it, for the fuel? Or cattail no, we can't use cattail crackers. Actually, which was it? That one. Was it just spatter dock? I think it's spatter dock for fuel. Yeah. Or carrots, but we're not really growing them. Or may is that maple syrup? What is that? That must be a liquid. Is that a liquid storage? There it is, maple syrup. Obtain. I don't know if we're obtaining maple syrup. Don't think we're growing it. I think we've got resin. Yeah, because pine resin's stored in boxes, maple syrup's stored in a liquid, and we don't. We're definitely not growing that. So it can't be that. It's going to have to be the old spatter dock, which I think we have plenty of anyway. Metal. we got metal storage over here. Okay. I think we've got most of the things we need. We can definitely make the fuel. We've got the metal nearby. We're sourcing planks and gears. No, we're not sourcing planks yet. I need plank storage. That's timber. Actually, I'm not going to put the timber there. I'm going to have it up here. timber. So there is that one. Not many planks around. You need maple for the catalyst, which you use to make them faster. Right. You can make the bots run quicker on catalyst. Interesting. Have that one's an overflow, that one is an obtain. Same with this. So we can act as a buffer to the whole, all the districts. Right, they got plenty of building though. Did we forget anything over here? Okay, that appears to be functioning. Damn over flooded. I did wonder because <laughs> you got three input lines here. It's it's gone right through the spillway. <laughs> oh my god. 
Mayday. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's using the spillway as well, interestingly. Uh, we've got three input lines, and there's only one output there, one output there, and effectively now one output here. We don't actually need all of them. As long as we've got three outputs, that won't overflow. So yeah, this is the whole point of needing to have water wheels down here. Because otherwise we're just leaving power on the table, aren't we? But then the problem is, connecting that power to this. It's either that or we just have a separate power supply, but that seems a bit pointless. Especially with all this gravity storage going on. It's getting really awkward doing this. There we go. Yeah, we could do night owl, but I think we're okay. I think it was just a mismanagement problem. I just wasn't... I didn't open enough gates here, basically. Just let it all out real quick. <laughs> Uh, three guns, thank you for 25 months. Jay Webster, thank you for 46. Happy Easter. Enjoy your chocolate eggs. I've got Freddos, Jay Webster. I got a fret like an egg, and inside I think it's got six little Freddos. Freddos the best. So, can we actually build this now, do you reckon? Where is it? Uh, power wheel, water wheel. Oh, that's why I left the path in, because... Yeah, I was basically... I was going to do something with this side, wasn't I? I was going to get the power out this way. I remember what the big plan was now. I was going to get the power out of this wall and link it up to this somehow. <laughs> like, maybe... Maybe via some contraption across the landscape. Just to get a bit of power. It just seems completely pointless. I don't even know if I'm going to bother. And this giant power line going across the map. Ooh, power supply is only just equal in demand. Interesting. I think we do need more wind turbines, which is why I cleared this area. I presume they can't make it yet, because they need a footpath. Yeah, I think we can get some power across there. Something like that. Actually, I should probably have um, stayed elevated. We'll let them build that, then we'll build another set of platforms. Like singles above it.
You gotta get power to your bot factory. Oh my god. You are right. Beaker, I didn't think of that. Hmm. So the near well, mm, it's not impossible. The nearest output point is probably here. So we'd have to send power from this part of the map to that part of the map. Like that. Whoosh. It's quite a lot of building. But I kind of want this district to do all the bot production. But yeah, bit of a fly in the ointment. Hmm. We was thinking about building a wall around here. So we could perhaps kill that bird with this same stone as this one. I sense a big construction project. Not desperate for bots, but at the same time, I'd also like to grow maple trees, which we're not doing. Let's clear this area. I think this area might do well for maple trees, so we get maple syrup going. Pancakes. We could have it independent with no batteries, but I just think that's a really bad idea. I think what we do is we come across here, we have a lot of wind turbines through there, and then we carry the power through there. Then, yeah, it's a big project, but it's probably worth doing. Hey, Trickport, doing well, thanks. I reckon we can probably flatten this bit. Stupid bits. Gear's been imported. Um, don't think they're built yet, so no. You could just chain a series of wind turbines across. We could do. Maybe we're going to find a use for this after all. Don't know. I think we'll get rid of that. It's just wasting water, basically. Get rid of all them. And instead. Where do you want the boundary wall to sit? Maybe like through there, I don't know. Something like that, maybe. And then... Whatever we don't capture, we kind of need to fill in. Although we don't technically with that.
I want the water to flow around it as well, that's the thing, so I guess we could go like that. How much dirt have we got? What does he show you how much dirt you have? What is it listed? I don't know what the icon is for dirt. Have you seen the Afghan map is now pretty old for DCS? I've not seen that, Andy. Quite cool, though. Where's our dirt storage? Yeah. 426 and zero. Wow. I presume that's because I turned that off. No available workers in District 1. District 2 has eight available workers. Okay, we might have to migrate some people. But then District 1 has only a few free beds as well. Well, we've got enough dirt for now. We've got insane amounts of logs, though, so... Let's do that. Right, so if we want to pump out of here over to that side and we can pump down four squares and we want the water to stay at that level so the pump that's sat on this level has got one two so we need to go down another two from here don't we so it would be like that basically cannot be built at the bottom of the map no What? Apparently, that is the bottom of the map, so... Hmm... In that case, we're going to need... Can a pump be reversed? Pumps from one side to the other. No, it can't, can it? Like, it's a fix... We need two. Some to pump in, some to pump out. Okay, well, that changes things. That definitely changes things. That's the problem with a game that doesn't indicate levels. You don't know you don't know if you're near bedrock or not. So it's gonna have to be like that, and then everything else can have to be built up from that. One, two, so you need three. Four it needs to be like that. And then you want to pump either side. Also need to get power to it, which is not too difficult. Um, I don't know how quick they pump. Why can't I build that? I can build that, but not that. What's going on? Any idea? Why am I not allowed to pump water in? I am now. Okay. 
I must have had it angled wrong. Wait a minute. Am I going crazy? That way. That way. Okay. That's fine. And presume we send the power in here. Yeah, I think the nozzle must have been side on. It's something like this, isn't it? So we got power coming through. Oh, it's not going to work. I have to elevate it. I don't think they're going to be able to reach that. Okay, that's what the theory looks like. Now we need the walkways to access it all. guys have started already. How did they even get down here? Put a staircase here. Okay, they have a perimeter road. I think we'll need to put this dynamite on a higher priority, otherwise they might box that in completely. Then, power will come this way, so we'll send the power across there. Blimey. Done this. Ooh, fire in the hole. It doesn't like dynamite. I still haven't finished building this. 
Waiting for logs, and there's so many logs over here. I think they need more construction workers, maybe. Seven people who don't know what to do. Right. District. Uh, builder's hut. Get some more building going on here. Uh, you might need to remove or move other around the outside. The out to inside pump can't reach the bottom. Mm, why not? Although I will say is that other pump would be better useful over this side. This one here would be better served on this side. No, not that one. That one. The out to in. I think the in to out is okay. This one. This one would be better over here. just because that goes down to ground level. Uh, Parkson, thank you for 85 months. So then, the other thing is, how are they going to get around this thing to build it up? I don't know. We may need scaffolding. Ordinarily, what you'd do is put a walkway on this. I just... <laughs> I think... What we'll have to do is let them build... That. And then remove the footpaths and build the rest of it. Because otherwise, it, they'll just go wrong. We'll do it like that, and then they know how to get to it. And it probably wouldn't hurt to have a connection through here. We get them to build this lot. Build your access ways as a priority. Because right now, they're doing a lot of walking around. Scaffolding to level 4 since they can't reach down. They're going to walk across the top. And they can reach down. Like, that's how all the other dams got built. If you put a walkway across the top, they'll basically just... They'll What they'll do is, they'll basically build and then... I think I see what you're saying, though. Hang on. No, no, I think I see what you're saying. They'll reach to that, but they won't be able to get on the top level, will they? I, I kind of think it might work out. We'll leave it. Let's see what happens.
Blimey, nothing is getting built over here. Right, that needs building because I'm sick of seeing them walking logs back here. Right, where's the builder? So that's built. That's got four people in it. We've got four spare builders that don't know what to do. I think we have another building hut. Prioritize the building hut. messed up the bridge <laughs> which bridge this one <laughs> depth perception i mean to be fair it's like it's not hard to get that wrong is it one wrong pixel and it's in the wrong place districts must be separated by a crossing interesting I forgot we were going over a district crossing. There we go. All right, that's a big construction project. How are we getting on? 5k of food, 2.8k of bread, 1.7k of cattail crackers. Not much grilled spatter dock going on. That's because they are not operational. I think we need to migrate some people from District 2 to back to 1. I need four people. Uh, how do we do this? From two to one. One, two, three, four. That's better. Get that spatter dock grilled. Grilled is empty, spatter dock's full. We may not be able to harvest this at the moment. going to be for chestnuts, cattail roots, that one. I really, really, really wished they'd add an eyedropper tool so I could click on this, do like a control C, click on that and do a control V and it would just set the item and the supply automatically and even the priority. You know, the fact you can't do that is insane. There's also a district gate you can use. What do you mean? 
What do you mean, Costell? Reminds me we may have more dynamite. To deal with. Is that it now? Is that bedrock? That's bedrock. So that is 38, 38, 38. That's a lot of horsepower hours right there. 38,000 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> Plus, uh, three lots of 24,000. That's a lot of storage. Stranded. Hang on, you stranded. You muppet. Wait, you're not stranded. Oh, you're stranded. What the heck? Dude, you're inside of a... How does this work? This doesn't make any sense. He's like stranded inside of a building. This building is not connected to any district. That's why he's stranded. Because the staircase is not built, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah, he can't he can't get out until the staircase is built. Crazy. Oh well, it should fix itself. These guys in this district have no fun activities at all. They have nothing. I've given them nothing in the way of leisure stuff. I need to do this. Can we get a... Yeah, we can. We can get up on the roof there. Well being. Rooftop terrace. Nice rooftop terrace there, for example. I could do like that. We could do that. Do a triple. <laughs> How did they get there up here? Well, he, he got up here somehow and built it, then couldn't get down. He must have built it from the lower level and built upwards. Diagonally, but how we got there, I don't know. It's weird. If you want somewhere to, uh, thanks, game. Thanks for that. Thanks for lag saving. Right, grind your teeth on there. Perhaps you want a little med bay up here as well. What else have we got? Medical bed. We've got now a contemplation spot. Ooh. Can't really fit a contemplation spot in unless we get rid of this one. That's not bad. I reckon we give him a little shower down here. There you go. Little shower area. So that, you know, when they've finished building, before they go back to bed or the rooftop terrace, they have a little shower. Get rid of all the dirt, you know, freshen up. So interestingly, he is still stranded. 
even though technically he could now get out and I don't know I don't think we can solve that age 7 what are these doing I don't, I don't see how we can fix this this feels like a bugged stranding. Yeah, do we delete the building or let him die? Oh my God. He is injured. Well, that's what the med beds are for. This med bay is available. I think they are getting stung by bees, you know. Mr. Taipan, thank you for five years. Happy anniversary. Right, what they need is some log storage nearby. District 1, 19 available jobs. District 2, 4 surplus. Right, let's migrate them 4 into District. District 1 needs more beds, I think. Dude, beavers are always causing chaos. I need some more beds over here. for now. Lone Star, thanks for 33. Nothing to do in range. Um, hmm. Okay. all gone. That's fine. Now, I think the idea of this wind turbine was to put... Sorry, the idea of this power line was to put wind turbines here. However, plans have changed slightly because we're going to put them all across here. <laughs> okay, they've got local logs now. That's good.
Get some local plank and metal as well, just so we can build stuff. Indeed, Zenam. Bonuses. So again, I'm just sorting something out on the t-shirt front. Uh, Andy Lad, thank you for gifting a sub to Stannington. Welcome back, Stannington. What's all the yachts gear in dollar? What does that mean? When you go to the site, it should put it in dollars, or you can change to dollars. Or pounds or euros. That's how it should work. Right, are these guys actually oh, kidding me? Can't get all required materials. Gears. I thought we had local... We've got gears. Why can't you get gears to finish this off? you got to be kidding me. What's going on? This thing needs 40 gears and there's like a warehouse of gears here. What? <laughs> So I can't store the scrap metal because they can't finish that off because they don't have gears. But we do. No, I've got it as an obtain. If I change it to both, it's still the same. Something's not right. We've got haulers. Literally got a hauling post. But it's saying it, it just can't get it. That doesn't make any sense. It's not a priority, it, would st it wouldn't, like, literally nothing to do with the priority. Oh wait, now it is. Now it is priority. What the heck? Wait a minute, are you telling me? What? So if I put that on low priority, you telling me you, it says you can't get the guts? I, I, you know what I just think happened? I think it messed up. No, 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 Zarek. It should never say unable to get materials when it can get materials from here. I think when I changed the priority, it recalculated and realized that it had materials. I think that's what happened. But I don't think you need to do that, Night Owl. I think what you do is you just change the priority. And I think when you do that, it recalculates. Genuinely, I think that's what happened. I think it is a bug that it it now can get gears, but it didn't think it could. But when you do this, you basically kick it and it recalculates. I think that's definitely a bug though. Right, anyway, so we've got a drought coming, haven't we? Uh, 50. Maybe it's because at the time there was none in the district. Well, yes, that's correct. 
at the time that it was trying to build that, there was no gear source in the district. I then put one down, it got built, it got filled with gears, it didn't recalculate that. And that's the bug. of activity over here. Blimey. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say build that now, aren't I? To get that done, they can stand on the edge and build downwards and they'll basically be able to build outwards from that stack. Same with this stack here. However, they'll have stop when they get to that. I think, again, we should not build. I think that's the way to build it down. Perimeterize the whole thing, the wall, and then delete the path later and put what you need back in. That allows them to walk across all around this and build downwards. Too far to walk, Beaker. Meh. It's literally got to go from here to there. It's just being lazy, isn't it? But yeah, they do need water and food over here. I think that would help them. It would help the workers. They had access to local food and water, which you could probably put here. Let's put little storages. Um, what do we need? Little, little warehouse. And then a couple of water tanks. I'll make a little vending machine here. Let's have some cattail crackers and perhaps some bread. And then maybe some water there. Should probably turn the pumps back on. Probably fine we have more water if we do that. Especially considering there's a drought coming. Good, they got the scrap metal storage going. The other thing is, when we get power over here, we can build smelters as well, so we can smelt that scrap metal. Still two buildings unconnected. Ah, is that just a missing footpath? This little terrace bit's looking okay. Got some chill time back here. This uh, this guy is completely stranded. Like they need a button while it's early access to say like move or kick or recalculate or something. Buildings lacks workers. Explodes this factory. There's a lot of vacancies in District 1. A lot of them. We need more beds. I think we need more kids in District 1. I think this is what's going on. Is they've not, they're not building the homes because they're building the dam. Yeah, I think he really is stranded. I, I, I 
Short of destroying that building, I can't get him out of there. And even destroying the building... Well, it might help him. But frankly, I'm not destroying it. He's going to have to just die. He's been there three years. He was seven when he got stranded. And now he's ten. So he survived three years without food and water. He's done well, but... In these parts, stupidity gets you killed, unfortunately. It was either him or the building, and the building won. How many chocolate eggs Mrs. Squirrel got for you this year? Well, there's six Freddo eggs. <laughs> but here's the thing, Zinam. There are six eggs in the living room. They're all Freddo ones, and... I may have eaten three already. I mean, that may have happened. But here's the interesting thing, right? You may not know this about Freddo eggs. No, I said I may have done Dyson at all. I'm not admitting anything, mate. But here's the interesting thing about Freddo eggs. Is when you eat them before Easter, they actually repopulate themselves. So one of them disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. And then the next day... Another one disappeared. I'm not really sure what happened to that one either. Um, and a couple of days later, a third one disappeared, right? So there was half now. There's only three. And then, the day after that, there was six again. I was amazed. I was actually amazed. Like, so there's now six? So if you eat them before Easter, this is not a well-known fact. If you eat them before Easter, they, they grow back some weird Easter bunny thing going on, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But, I, yeah. I suspect after Easter they'll stop breeding, but before Easter they just breed like rabbits. These little Freddo eggs. Brilliant. So we've got six again. <laughs> I'm not arguing. Right, we have to start building up the water levels, aren't we? We're going to have to fill that up. Fill the old bathtub up over here. Let's shut that off. Or at least let it fill up nicely. I don't know what it is, Beaker. I, I just think it's an undiscovered thing. Because most people save their Easter eggs till Easter. And, um... Turns out if you don't, then they just come back. Well, we can actually flood this area and use this as storage, can't we? No reason to, uh, not have a water store, though. Another little dam. Don't need it for anything else. You watch him from Saudi Arabia on the beach, blimey. Let me guess, it's currently raining where you are. How are we getting on? Can I build this stuff? Mm. It's waiting for the construction behind it to be finished. Oh, I see. So they won't build these blocks independently. They have to be built next to each other. Interesting. So why won't that be built then? That could be built. That's next to Earth. Right, that water's full up. How's that little overflow going? Oh, is that what the arrows are for, Beaker? Interesting. I, I did wonder about that. I 
can't believe I've got a little wind turbine down here. That's crazy. Been there since the dawn of time, that thing. I wish it showed you when you clicked on it, like how many years or cycles it's been there. A 10k of logs. Food's good. 2.9k of planks, that's building up. Pine resin. Still need to think about the maple trees. I think we was planning on doing this area, possibly. If we can keep that watered. has now got water in it. That's nice. Yeah, I think that lo that little lock of water, though, could help us sustain some trees over here. Access way over here. I don't want them in the middle, do I? I want them over here. And then they can cut trees down around here. I did the bad water building? Don't tell me I did. No! How did that get flooded? How is that flooded? Did that get flooded from this water or did I... How has the level come up here? What the heck? Is it because that filled up and then it backed up and it's just basically a little mini flood? No, there's no gap. Look, it, the level came up and because I, I hadn't sealed that off. Ugh. Okay, we'll have to wait for the drought and then get rid of it. I think it's because I hadn't put that back up or something. I don't think there's a gap. Weird. Just saying hello while I lurk on a company terminal. Skly. A company terminal, Onomichi? You <laughs> You're going to get into trouble, pal. <laughs> Right, we've got 0.4 days. Let's shut things off here. Close that off. Close that off just to um, build that up. Seal that off. And we'll seal off the exit back here. Right, so that's closed. This I'm gonna leave. Overflowing. Well, I'm technically gonna have to let the water go away to get rid of that. Ugh. I think they are X-Wing, yeah. Right, we're going to seal that off now.
that will allow this to drain out. trying to drain this out of here but not too much just enough to allow that to oh that's on the same level as that isn't it oh. Yeah, I've got to drain it off completely. I, for some reason, I thought this was on a different block to that. Works very well on Mac OS. There you go. Okay, we're not losing water out of there. We're not losing water that way. That's sealed. Cool. The exits are sealed. from that but that's necessity okay now if we are going to grow trees here we have a slight problem in that that side's harder to keep wet than this side so maybe this district has to put housing up here as well and put, put trees around this area Yeah. There's a beaver stranded in here, if that's the one you're referring to. Oh. Oh god, dude. How have you done that? How on earth? genuinely don't understand how he's even managed to get into that position he's actually floating as far as I can tell well his icon's floating so he's on this block he's on that block so he's managed to come all the way along here but The only way I can think of rescuing him is by doing something like that. Hi, <sighs> caramba. Oh, that, you know what that means? It means that the one that was stranded over here, that kid has died. <laughs> They eventually died. Rip. Right. Uh, plant crops. Let's see. Trees. No. We want a forester. Who can probably work all that area. Yeah. maple 28 days three days to get maple syrup
Well, that's annoying. So we could grow them just for syrup. I don't know how much syrup we need. And we could cut some down. Probably Tommy, yeah. I don't know how much syrup a bot farm needs. You need lots of syrup. Okay. You reckon that then? That is nothing. <laughs> that seems like a lot. Sounds like a bot farm needs a lot of stuff then. Sure, what we're going to do with this land? Maybe out of his reach. Oh, it's just inside. Not much point having them because we're not going to cut it down. Um, what is it that manufactures the... Syrup? Or is it this guy? No. How do we recover the syrup? Is it a tapper shack that does it? Oh yeah, he does both. All right, well, we don't need to build that yet because that's going to take a month. Uh, I'll probably do some next week, Dave. sure that one stays full. We freed him. <laughs> we freed the guy until the next one comes along and gets stuck. Once I connect this, they'll have a walkway through that bit. And then they should just go down each side building. Oh, look at the order they build this in. Look at this. Instead of going to the end of the block and building backwards, they build the first thing they can do and then they can't build anything else. It's like now they can't reach that because they built that. They're just so dumb. What I want is hovering construction bots. That they don't need staircases, they can just hover and just build things. Unbelievable. Oh, got them on this. Interesting that they can't get to that one, but they managed to build that one and that one. Because they stood on the edge for those. Stood on the edge for that one, but this one they're like, ah, we can't do that, son. If I get rid of that temporarily...
They should be able to build it. Like Daleks who don't like stairs. They they do like stairs. They love them. The problem is they don't know how to prioritize build. They build the first thing in front of them. Come on, put this thing down and then I can actually build a staircase. Staircase back, Jeff. Actually, don't because you're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna need it here. Yes, yeah, so the idea was. to free up this area of storage. I suppose I should have done those while I was at it. Yeah, so we had lumber, didn't we? Um, planks is that one. Oh, the tutorial is a joke. <laughs> it really is a joke. Right, supply, no obtain. I remember the very first time I played this game, I did die on the, like the second drought or something. This is the kind of game that you have to play to find out what you're doing wrong. <laughs> and then everybody dies and you're like, okay, so instead of doing that, I need to focus on this and build that. And you gradually, after a couple of attempts, get used to it. very low so this game you have to have the mindset that you're going to fail and learn pretty much because you're going to get hit by a double combo the tutorial doesn't teach you anything like what you need to know and secondly until you get drought and bad water you're just not going to find out you've got to find out the hard way that your water infrastructure doesn't work like you'll survive a drought and you'll be like Ooh. and then you'll you'll think oh, i'm going to survive another drought and then you'll get a bad water event and suddenly all your crop gets killed and you don't have enough food stored so you all die it's, it's kind of like that
But yeah, just play normal mode. And just, yeah. Accept that you may just... Your beavers might all die. You can always load it back. You can save it as you go along. So you can always go back a bit and be like, all right, okay, I get that now. But yeah, I think because it is early access, they've not really focused on tutorials because it's kind of pointless. They might make tutorials for something that may change. Right, that dam is now down to 2.5. That is on 0.5, 0.4. It drops a lot of water into here. Cut that off. Be like long dark. Yeah. Some of the mechanics in that game still frustrate me. The whole sprained ankle thing and the way like a tin opener or a wrench just doesn't like I think I've had my wrench over 25 years and it's still perfect. <laughs> it's still like it's very hard to break tough and steel. And the idea that these things were down in long dark just makes me laugh. Yeah, that happens, Nurston. Is Long Dark even done? I don't know. Right, they can now... go. Lumberjack. Don't need you. Right, what's District doing? District number two has a lot of available people. District number one needs a lot of people, so we're going to migrate from District two again. Let's chuck ten over. Three, four. Okay, how are we doing? District 1 has three beds available. Still needs workers. Okay, District 1 needs more beds. That's the easiest way to give them more beds. And then we can start stacking up here, I think. Right, I'm going to just turn off these pumps apart from one. They can stay on. That way we're not pumping water too much away from the crop. That's healthy. Uh, and 460, thank you for 45 months. Interesting. Right, got a lot of extract. Okay, the dam's starting to take shape. Levels nearly in. How's our log supply? 9.8k. That missing piece of footpath probably cost me quite a bit of time.
So they build that, then we basically put the pumps on either side, then we extend the power line straight out that way. We'll probably put wind turbines along here, maybe. Since it won't be a walkway anyway. We passed 300 adults, we did indeed. And that's going to come straight out of there. Like that. All this to get power over there so I can build bots. <laughs> I could have built bots back here, but this district needed a reason to, to exist. Right, we can seal that off. Put that back on 0.5. So that shouldn't get flooded anymore. Scrap metal storage is slowly building up. But frankly, I think they need... Or they could certainly do with more... Scavenger flags. I'll put them on a slightly low priority though. And yeah, we want smelters as well to require power. The mine. We don't have a scrap metal mine. Underground ruins. Where's the nearest underground ruin? Is that one? Ooh. Hello, sir. Hmm. That doesn't need power, interestingly. I think that's the next source, and once we've tapped that, that's... There's a lot to get from here, yeah. Uh, big drama, Drew. Thanks for 15 months. <coughs> Better off with bots as a mine. You tend to get a lot of injuries. Yeah. Well, luckily for us, we should have some bots here. Once this is all up and running. I think I may just take the opportunity just to flatten that off. Probably need it up there. Cool, they're coming this way now. How's power? Whoa, that is a lot of demand. But not a lot of supply. But we're doing okay. We're storing power. I think it doesn't help having the excavator running. I perhaps shouldn't run the excavator when we're in a drought. But we're doing okay. thinking like do we need to pump water out of here necessarily the first three blocks will fall out maybe we should um put a gate there instead maybe we do that because all the way down to the first two blocks, the water can fall out, can't it? In fact, three if you get rid of that one. Of 
It's only when you get down to that level that you need to pump it. Actually, that's going to allow it into this bit. Hmm. Uh, there's one connecting piece for the power shaft not buildable near the power wheels in the south. Oh, this one. Apparently it is buildable. It does block the walkway too. I don't know if we need to walk around here necessarily. It does block them walking, but they've also they, they have they can just swim at the end of the day. <laughs> you know, we can just leave this footpath in. I just feel like most of the time, if you're trying to get water out of here, you don't need to power do that via power, do you? Wow, they're built that quick. That's interesting. Isn't it interesting that they can build something like that? From the ground here, they can build something that's three blocks high. But normally they can only build two blocks high. But because that's one piece, they can build all of it. Is that part bad water protected? It's bad water protected by these gates here. So bad water... We generally don't open these. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to isolate them, but strictly speaking, I don't need to. We could fill this with terrain, but the pump's going to reach anyway, so... Yeah, I probably should fill it, actually, thinking about it. Just so we're not releasing water where we don't want to use it. I think I'd also like to dam that off. way just so we can seal that if you want to okay so the water's coming back 2.5, 2.5. We can open that overflow. That's sealed off. That's on a half. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did not notice this had dried out. It died. <laughs> Dies in 0 0.1 days. No! Don't you die. Oh god, we lost a lot of crop. I was busy focused on the dam and all that wheat and stuff just died. <laughs> Leopard egg. I really wish you could automate some of this stuff. You know, with like sensors and things. I put a sensor here on this and then say, right, wire it to that gate. If it gets less than this, open the gate. And then here, just go, if that gets less than that, open this gate and then just automate it. Micromanaging it is really annoying. Is 
There's a mod that does that. Interesting. Why is that a mod? Yeah, it should be base game, shouldn't it? Like Factorio, just base game stuff. Oh well, we lost some crop. Fortunately, we have 3,000 bread, so we're good. Started to plant. Not very quickly. Getting focused on Maple. I'm not really sure where he is or what he's doing. It's taking him a long time. No, I agree, Snoogie Bar. It absolutely should be base game. There he is. Takes him a while to plant a tree. If I hadn't opened that, that would have <laughs> that would have backed up. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was like, yep. I just realized what I did there. They they built this and it was set high and it just stacked all the water back so none of it could come out of here. <laughs> Rip. Hang on, the stem the tide though. We've gone from drought to flooding in like that. No. It's going to take a little while to get rid of all that, blimey. Mistakes are made. Make a beaver that's like a supervisor's hut where you tell the beavers to check things throughout the day. That would be a nice way of implementing it. Like in Factorio, obviously you've got cabling and circuits and all that. But in a game like this, I agree with you. It would be good to have the automation, but via beaver power. Like you say, say, monitor this. If it gets below that, I want you to go and flip that gate. And you'll see him like run over, check things, and then go off and move gates. And that way it integrates with the game of beavers and doesn't look too OP. Right, it's just drained out now. Okay, crisis averted. That's overflowing. Uh, what else have we got? That's spilling that way. That's isolated. The water's coming back there. Okay. It looks all right now. Trees are being planted. The dam is being built. Slowly. Trouble is they can't get around this side now. They have to go this way. How much terrain do we have? 
jeez. I don't understand where our terrain... Like, that's not moved. Right, we have 16 slackers. Sorry, unemployed in District 2. Let's move 10 of them over. District 1 has 10 unemployed people now. And no free beds. That could be a problem. It's provide a way for him to get up there. Lots of ways of doing it. But I guess we could go with... Turn on this other thing. We'll turn on the research station as well. I feel like the guys that work up here need food and drink as well. They don't really have any access to food and drink up here. You can get uh, what do you want? Some crackers, some bread. I feel like we're getting low on bread, which is interesting. Also, grilled spatter dog. Let me have a look at the food chain. We should plant some more, I don't know. Do we not have enough crop or do we not have enough farmhouses? That's the question. Yeah, I think so. I think we just need to take care of some more. Can reach all the way into these corners, can't they? Uh, spider dog. Perhaps put another aquatic farmhouse here. Uh, which one is it? That one. Yeah, the drought did end the wheat crop. You are quite correct. Still, I'd rather preemptively build more stuff. Uh, crop, spider dock. Actually, just get rid of this. It's not really serving any purpose. Of 
course, we've got the absolute faff of getting up there. Oh, that footpath won't connect through there, will it? Or will it? No, that's disconnected, isn't it? That's scumbaggery, that is. And I can't build that. No! That's annoying. I have to come this way. I can't build a farmhouse in water. <laughs> That's a very good point. Also, I can't build that. What a faff this is. Oh, this is, this is annoying, actually. Again, it all comes down to the fact that you can't turn and climb. So yeah, this isn't going to work. Um, that's fine. What we can do instead is crank the platform over there. And we'll have to... Sacrifice. I've sacrificed a square just to get down though. So I can't just drop down. I've got to go that way. And if I go that way, I then have to build here, here, and here just to get back. Unless you can build, actually, you can build a footpath under there. It's not too bad. No, nope, don't build there. Basically, have to do that. We'll get some more spider dock tiles back. I reckon we can dynamite that as well. Right there. Oh yeah, the whole scaffold and you need to build things. <laughs> it's just nuts. Anyway, how are we getting on over here? Ooh, progress. Definite progress. Mm, don't want to do that, do I? Because that's the power line, really. Okay, we can't build the pout rest of it until we've got this done. But what we can do is try and fill that other stuff in. Assuming we've got more... Yeah, we've got more dirt now. Nice. I am getting worried about this food chain. That is getting low. <laughs> I don't like this. Twenty-six percent.
Okay, we're alright for now. That is the lowest I've seen it come down, though. Could really do with some more potato farm. Okay, that's not working properly. That is looking... No, I thought it was flooded. Cool. TNT's ready in the bot area. question is, do we leave that? I suppose we could square it off. Let's do that. That would have to be a bridge to get over there. If in doubt, blow it up. Indeed. Uh, I kind of feel like these guys could do us a bit more entertainment. They've only got this at the moment. How many's in District 2? There's 65 of them here. Tell you what, that score's come down. Eleven. Grilled potatoes, grilled chestnuts. Campfire. Contemplation spot. They definitely did a campfire. They do like a campfire. Given them contemplation spots. Maybe not. That's dead space. It's just a horrendous contemplation spot. I suppose by the water's not too bad. They've got two showers, haven't they? Herbalist, carousel. We do not have a carousel, but that requires power, which we don't have yet. We could build a dance hall for them. They do like a dance hall. And we still don't have a mud bath, but that takes power. Dance hall's massive, that's the problem with that. A Lido. Perfect place to relax by a river. Um, that's possible. Hmm. Maybe here. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now, as long as we can keep some water in there, they can enjoy themselves. Wooden fence, some hedges, a bulletin pole, a decorative pole for public messages. <laughs> Random. A beaver statue, 500 signs. Aesthetics beaver statue within three tiles. Okay. How big is it? What? 
So if you put that here like that. <laughs> 500 signs. They've got one. These guys need one. Where can their statue go? What if you just put it on the roof? <laughs> Of course, they would have to get up here, but I can make that happen. Let's put one there. One there. And then we just need a little staircase. And then they could also have... Uh, contemplation spots. There you go. Shrub. Oh, I forgot about lanterns. Hammock. What about a bench? It's awesome. <laughs> I like that. The monuments make a big difference. What well, these guys, yeah, look. Farmer monument. Thousand signs, 200 logs. Within seven tiles. What does that do for the... It doesn't tell me what that does. It just says all oh, farmer monument within seven tiles. Brazier of Bonding within 10 tiles. The Fountain of Joy requires access to water. 12k of science. It just makes them happy. Okay. It's like a weird line dance, isn't it? Hilarious. Berlin likes materials. Eleven beavers injured. It kind of sounds like we're running out of med bays. Hmm. I think the population's grown and we don't have enough med bays. Space here. Not watched it, Zenam. No intention of watching it either. Nothing to do in range. Okay, I think your job here's done, pal. You've been reassigned. Battery storage is still doing well. Right, we have mass unemployment right now. 
So may as well unemploy, sorry, unpause things. No point turning that on. If in doubt, build haulers and builders, right? build them here though I think we start building them over here nearer to where we're building and stuff Employment is a bad thing as those uh, without jobs can spend time dancing and swimming. Dude! The beavers! You ever heard the phrase beavering away? Beavers are workers. Yeah, they can have fun time, but they're not living a life of dancing and eating and singing and laughing and joking at our expense while everybody else is basically building the whole thing out. They can get on with it. What we need to do is monitor how much grain and stuff we have. Uh, let's see. Wheat flour, 390 stored. Is that it? 1,000 wheat, 392 wheat flour. I kind of feel like that's nowhere near enough. Two hundred wheat. Yeah, we need bigger storage than that. That's mad. Hang on. Large warehouse. What we need. Boom. Hmm. Hang on. So this is potatoes. This does this doesn't even touch the surface potatoes. We're just not even making a fraction of what we need to keep up. However, two hundred bread, two hundred wheat. All the bakeries are over here. So this is the output supply point, which is fine. The wheat storage should be over here, I think. That's where all the bakeries are. However, having said that, the bakeries are not powered, so they don't need to be over here. So what we're doing is making the wheat here, bringing it over to these guys. Hang on, where are we crushing the wheat? Is it here? This building is there. That one, the grist mill. Yeah, we basically have like a stack, don't we? Wheat and wheat flour. That's like the, the local cash for this thing. Unable to get required materials. Cattail flower. Even though the cattail flower's right there. Hmm. Do we just not have enough cattail flower or is it just not getting moved around? 
Yeah, there's plenty of med base for the beavers. I don't know, it may be more haulage. I'm trying to work it out. Cattail crackers, that is... Okay. So these guys produce... Oh, God. What's the supply chain for cattail? So they harvest the cattail into the cattail wheat, don't they? Where do they then store it? Here? No, because that's the flour. So where are they getting the wheat from? Where are they getting the wheat from? How do we see this stuff easily? Housing, storage... Cattail crackers. Cattail flour. There's one. There. That's a 200. It's interesting how it's not getting into that building. Is that the only one we have? I think that's the only cattail flower around. Called cattail roots. Right, okay. Cattail roots. So where am I storing those? Trouble is, I built these a long time ago and I can't remember what the supply chain was. What's the icon for a cattail route then? What's that? Where on earth are they being stored? Middle row, second icon. That one? It's cattail flower. You have nine of them. What, cattail root storage? We have nine storage bays or nine cattail roots? <laughs> I can't even see the icon for it. Is it that one on the left? Cattail root, so it's that. Okay. Nine roots, so we're basically not growing enough of it. I mean, we could grow in this area. This is a perfectly valid place to grow now. It's on the same level as that. It can be kept full of water because there's a dam here, so... Yeah, I don't think we have much storage for them either. Um, <laughs> he's like he's literally running towards an explosion chain. <laughs> that was amazing. Brave lad. <laughs> Who runs towards exploding dynamite? Right, I think we can put some storage here because if we're harvesting from there, if they're harvesting, they want to get up here and store it there and these guys can then store it here as well. So we can have cattail root storage along that bit, which I presume is in a warehouse like that. Or we build a bigger one that goes back if you blow these boxes away as well. Uh, 
and then we can build a little access area that way. You reckon we need some more hauling? It's hard to tell, like, if we need more hauling. What is it you can look at that will tell you if goods are being moved around quickly enough or not? I think there's other than places are complaining of no stuff. Yeah, but they silently fail. Like, this thing here just stops turning, but doesn't... You, you look at it and you're like, why is it not turning? Is it because the output's full, or is it because the input's empty? Just quietly does nothing. Beaver just stands there going, mm-hmm. Unable to get materials. Right, well they definitely need a cattail root obtainment here somewhere. There's cattail root obtain. So that's the local input as far as I'm concerned. Cattail flower, that can be the local output. So they've now got things to input and output to. Then we need cattail flower then goes to a is it a bakery? Where's the bakeries that make it? Cattail crackers. So those three are focused on cattail crackers. And then the output of that... <clears throat> goes... I don't know where. Cattail crackers. Right. Supply point. But I think there needs to be bigger storage. Productivity percentage is in the list of workplaces. Uh, is that the... No, that's not this number. Where's the percentage number? So, here's some bakeries. How do we look at the percentages? It's the green bar. Oh, these things. I thought that was a Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, so the cattail crackers we know is broken. Centrifuge? Oh, I had that turned off. I do. The fluid dump's doing nothing. This grilled chestnuts is doing nothing, presumably because it doesn't have enough input. I feel like I want to move these bakeries. I think we need a baking section. That is just awkwardly placed. I mean, that's just not enough trees to make chestnuts for 366 beavers. Right, we want, um, what's the stuff down here? Cattail roots. 
Cattail flower, cattail roots. So this is going to be a supply point for cattail roots from here. The main storage area from this, both of these things. That's 1,200, that's quite a bit. It can also be a main storage for wheat, I guess. Underlands, wheat. A supply point for that. So all that wheat from here can come there. And then it can also be a place that we long term store things. Like the crackers. It's worth doing carrots as it means they eat less of everything else, plus the variation makes them happy. Carrots? I thought they didn't like carrots very much. It's like the berries, they don't touch the berries. We've had berries since the start of the game, they just don't eat them because like, well, we'd rather have anything but berries. We'd rather have bread, we'd rather have cattail crackers. You had a hard time keeping carrots. Hmm. Eat flour. Will they be able to reach if I put the aquatic thing there? Can it reach all of that sector? For cattail, isn't it? I think I broke something. Let them starve, Scleros. Wow. Just wow, Rob. <laughs> you beaver murderer. Hang on, to finish the dam. Not finished it yet. Come on, guys. Let's, let's finish this off. Let's get the job done. I feel like we could build an access point, couldn't we? No reason not to. We're bound to need it. So yeah, so Beacon, my question is, do berries and carrots fall in the same category as basic food? Because with all the other ones, you have to you have to put them through a process to turn them into something else. Like with wheat, etc. Carrots, you just dig out the ground unless you're grilling them. I don't think there's a grilled carrot, so why is that not just basic food?
Berries don't contribute to well-being. That's the meaning of basic. Right. Berries are done by the forest. Don't think done by the plant food is treated the same. Okay. Another one for the tutorial. Right, so we can't plant there because that's been tainted by the bad water coming through unless we put we dig that up and put a contamination barrier in it. Which is that no. Where's the contam no. Actually we don't have to dig it up, we just build on top, don't we? So yeah, we'd have to build a contamination barrier. Annoyingly. Um, it's really hard to get underneath that tile. But you can't actually... That will stop it polluting that land, I think. We're building a water tank. Well, we have a water tank here. For drinking. Oh, that was a builder's hut! Did I mean to build a builder's hut? I can't remember. I thought we built a hauling post. 36 people in District 2 unemployed. Hmm. No beds available in District 1. Yikes. So District 2 need more workers. That's what I'm hearing. Which means in theory we could make... You can arguably move all the baking or whatever over here. Because the baking doesn't need power anyway. Oh, you mean this giant dam thing? If they ever finish it. Yeah, the, the idea of this is to hold water here that we can then pump back out there if we need it so we can grow crops here. And also that feeds back that way. So it's like extra buffer. And then we're going to run wind turbines all the way along the wall and then all the way through here. And then that power line is going to extend to here so that they can make bots. This is going to be a bot factory over here. And then the bots are going to make better bots. <laughs> and then we're going to launch Skynet. <laughs> also, District 2 could, in theory, tap into that. It's a little bit far away though but they do have their own I think they should also be smelting as well since they're going to produce a lot of metal they can put them to work with smelters and smelters need 200 horsepower anyway yeah we could be beaving it yeah Okay, food, automatic farmhouse. Okay, you're bigger than I thought. Three tiles wide, not two.
Don't know what the reach is on that building. Okay, there, so we can't build here yet. Should give us some more stuff. They can, in theory, grow here now, because I reckon they can probably... No, they can't access that. Interesting. Wait, bread? Oh, that was local food. You're not 100% sure if the contamination barrier works when it's underwater. I think it will. It'll stop that from bleeding through. But uh, I guess we'll find out. It's annoying if it doesn't. Oh, one more block. One more block. And then we can really get to work. Okay, what I was going to do was basically block, terrain block this out. So it falls out of there that way. Wait a minute, you know what they're going to do here. Oh god, hang on. Low priority. If we don't tell them to build it in a certain order, I guarantee that they'll trap themselves. Okay, well, I can report, Beaker, that the contamination is being controlled. Look at that. You can literally see it dissipating. Which is good. Uh, so the water's contaminated because it's bad water coming through here. You see this orangey stuff, like rusty water? That comes from certain points on the map, of which this is the one that it comes from. The bad water source. So it flows down there. We control it. We, we can get power from it. If the beavers go in it, they start to get sick. But you can extract this green stuff, which you then use to make bigger explosives. Sometimes you get a drought, in which case good water and bad water stop flowing into the map. Other times you get a bad water event where even the normal water sources turn into bad water. And at that point, you need to basically isolate them. Which is another point that needs making is I need to... Do this. Because if we do get a bad water event, it'll trap it there and it will be almost impossible to get rid of. Uh, the powertrain piece down near the water wheels cannot be built. You need to make them an entrance to get to it. I think you mean down here. I mean this one. The thing is, they say that they can. Oh, it's because ah, oh, I kept looking at that, and he's like, "Yeah, we can build it," but what they can't build is that. <laughs> cool. That's just got us a bunch of tiles back. Happy about that. Nothing to do in range. Oh, 
you've got stuff to do now, pal. Okay, this is done. We can now start pumping water up here. means we'll have to get rid of some of these tiles. Normally it is going to cut that off there. Uh can do about that. Remove the road under it. What, this? Why? Well, <laughs> this is going to get filled in shortly anyway, so it's pointless. It's all going to get filled in by terrain once this is all done. Right, we need to do this in the right order now. Uh, wind turbine can go like that. Which I need to let them build that first. That's going to take time. Uh, about five minutes time, Mikey. We should get a lot more cattail out of this now. Right, how's the storage doing? Non-existent. <laughs> uh, we're down to 1.9k of food, apparently, in District 1. I feel like District 2 has nicked all the food. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Okay, you can definitely... Cattail crackers. If I put that on accept, if I put these on accept, then it should share them between the districts, shouldn't it? Or will they just try and import everything? I don't know how this works properly. Four workers there, four workers here, blimey. See, I feel like District 2 has nicked all the food and District 1 is looking pretty low and it makes all the food, but it's exporting it to District 2. <laughs> I feel like these guys are on the verge of starvation right now. Because their bread is just disappearing at a rate of knots. Look at it. Everything's just disappearing. <laughs> a little bit concerned that 
we're going to end up with a death famine in District 1 because District 2 is going, we've got the food. Maybe you can change it to manage distribution button the crossing. I was going to say shut it, Beaker, but instead I'll say shut it, Rob Hughes. So this is the Manage Distribution tab. How does this work? Okay, food. Here we go. Bread. Import forced by distribution settings. What does that say? Import always. Import if needed. District 1 will import if it needs it. That's better. Okay. Import if needed sounds good to me. Should probably apply that to all food groups. Also, like... Import the goods only if there is a matching storage or workplace demand. Connected districts will balance goods between themselves based on storage, fill rates, and custom export thresholds. Okay. That's where I'm going wrong. The planks are on import. They should be on import if needed. Like, I kind of feel like everything should. Also, you don't want to be importing that because you'll be making it right so now they're all on that what happens now what does the bread do now then district one district two district one's bread is still going down what the heck okay hang on do i need to make that reciprocal Manage distribution, district two. District two. Oh, district one's the mate. Right, 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 right. Hang on. District 1 is the main district. Do not import. So where are the export settings? The bars are sliders. Okay. So district 2 is the... So basically what we're saying, export threshold. Right. So now we can say don't export it unless... So District 1's the main one that makes bread and these things. So we do something like that, maybe? I, I kind of feel like District 1 shouldn't be exporting wheat flour at all anyway. Do not import. Wait, what? <laughs> Do you not export any goods? Export all goods without restrictions. Right, okay. So the further to the right the bar is... So if you, if you have the bar all the way over the left, it will export everything, essentially. Blimey. I think most of the extracts should be ours anyway. If the destination has capacity. Antidote. Well, that's a good point, actually. The other district doesn't have any antidote. Import 
support blocked by the lack of storage and workplace demand in this district. I kind of feel like we just need to put some midpoints in here just to stop everything getting exported. Like as a reasonable starting point. So it just keeps back half of all the food it makes. And go from there. Same with the logs, like... We need to have some logs here. Red still look going down. <laughs> is that just being eaten or is that literally like District 2's just got everything, all the bread. Two thousand bread. And these guys are like, uh, oh, we got our bread over here. Anyway, we have to solve that when we continue in a minute. Right, save that there. I think we've got a food crisis. Hmm. Right, I'm going to take a break. I shall be back in an hour's time. Thank you for watching. Come back and watch a disaster, a food disaster in one hour if you want. <laughs> yeah, that is a cliffhanger. <laughs> Next episode, Beaver Wipeout. Uh, thank you for... Whoa, heck, lost 100 months, dude. The big triple digit button. It's been a great journey so far. Plenty of dad jokes. Oh, yeah. Always dad jokes. Thank you for 100 months, heck, lost. I'm sure the mods have put it in the um, memos for me. I'll give you your VIP badge. Thank you very much. That is insane support. Thank you. Well-earned badge. Network, thanks for 68. Right, guys, I will be back in about an hour. I'm going to go and grab some food. So see you in a bit. If you're heading out, enjoy the rest of your day. That's it for me. Bye for now. Welcome back. Welcome back. I was a little bit busy there. Got distracted. Um, I was... I was thinking to myself, we probably need to grind through our wheat and cattail and all that kind of stuff quickly. So I've, what I've done is I've dropped another four grist mills in there and some little storage bays just to locally cache the stuff. Because it occurred to me that we have a fair amount of wheat kicking around and wheat flour, but maybe the bakeries aren't getting through it enough. Don't know. Uh, bit of a desperate situation in District 1 at the moment in terms of food. I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but I guess we'll have to unpause it and find out. <laughs> I'm hoping it will rebalance itself, but right now I don't know. Uh, District 1, District 2 has lots of available workers. Not enough beds in District 1, but we could move four people from District 2. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to because that's more mouths to feed in District 1 that they can't afford. Uh, Mr. Ryan Craig, thank you for 61 months. Tier 3, sir. Welcome. Thank you for the support. Freak Superman, 27 months. Uh, it can't be my 27 months. Yes, it is. Donut, thank you for 75. Crav, thank you for 87. Uh, Trucker Pat with 43. Uh, and Eklos and um, whoever it was, I did give you a VIP badge if you're here. You could swap the cattail bakery to bread. And so you've got some cattails. Um, yeah, I guess we could. Um, these down here. I'll probably forget, though. That's the problem. I'll forget to switch them back. Cattails. Wee -oo. Bread. Bake bread. Maybe we just need more bakeries. I don't know. Wouldn't hurt to make some anyway, wouldn't it? Bakery. They don't need power. We just make one there. Make one here. They'll share all the resources. You want to hide? 
high priority. Uh, Mr. Target, thank you for 13 months. Stimpy, thank you for 57. To the Speed, thank you for subbing with Prime. Welcome. Yeah, something um, something came back with me from the uh, living room after my lunch. Um, take absolutely no responsibility whatsoever. Um, it just appeared on my desk. What can I say? I may have to have a look at what's inside later. Okay, District 1's looking pretty desperate on food here. They're all walking around complaining that they don't have food. We're going to have to inspect those Freddo's a bit closer. It'd be rude not to. I feel. Bread. Very low on bread. Right, I'm going to prioritise hauling with bread. And what else is that? Grilled spider dock. Can't believe we've got no grill spider dog. What's going on? Maybe we need some more haulers. Let's build another hauling station. In case we're just not moving stuff. Reproducing and migratory. Yeah, yeah. Mol Molotov, they, they're they a, a fascinating thing, these Freddos. Uh, six grill spuds. That's, uh, that's going up. Grill spider dock's actually going up. I'm thinking maybe they're moving it since I clicked on priority. Maybe I should click on a priority hall from the bread station as well. Where is the main bread store? There's the local caches. Okay, one of the food numbers is going up. I'm happy about that. District 2. Look at them. They're like, we're okay. We've got plenty of food over here. Imported goods. Which district is this? I, I think they have the mechanic, but I've not had a Kinder Egg for a long, long time. District 1. In theory, as far as I can tell... <coughs> Maybe we need more people on the line over here. As I can tell, they should move things between the borders. I think it wouldn't hurt to just allocate a bunch of people to moving stuff. 13 unemployment, 42. Okay, move another 10. Let's see if we can get things <clears throat> between the borders more quickly. I just did that, Costello. I literally just did that right there. Put more people on that gate. Just to get things to move over quicker. Uh, the bread number is stabilised. The grilled spider dock is going up. We may not die. <laughs> we may not die. 68%. There's still stuff to be grilled. There's plenty of grilled in there. Guessing it's going to be a while before this is ready. Yeah, this is... Well, that's ready to harvest.
Just see what this guy does when he collects them. I want to see where he takes it. Presume he's got some. Carries nothing. Uh, Broker, thank you for 73 months. Let's see where he goes. Alright, he's got some. Okay, he puts it in there. And then wait for somebody to come and collect this. Not him. He's gone in. He's collected three. Hang on, I thought he was a hauler, which means he should be able to haul more than... Like, they can carry three to here. Why can he only carry three to the destination? Doesn't tell me where he's going either. There's no, like, destination list. Going this way. He went in there and he came back out again. He's just delivered it straight in. Hmm. I wonder if the carrier set to win dispatch that there was three when he first left. Could be. Yeah, but he's only got three, see? I don't get why they can only carry as much as the guy that, that farms it. I thought the haulers were dedicated backpacks and everything. I think they'd move quicker across here if they didn't have to swim, wouldn't they? Actually, no, he's just moving slower because he's loaded. Okay, how's the old maple going? 37%. <clears throat> Lots of scrap metal. That's good. Ooh, we have a pump. No problem. That's interesting. I've got contamination block coming to here, but that's still polluted. So how does that get contaminated? Like somehow that goes around though. That's weird. Uh, that's a good point. I did want to place wind turbines there. You are quite correct, sir, in your observation. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, wind turbines, that large one? Yes. Thanks, game. Need to get this up and running so we can start filling that up quickly. Also, why are they not landscaping that in? I've not seen them do a single thing here. Oh, finally. Okay, the bread's... I think the bread is being balanced out, but we're down to 1.5k of food. That's the lowest I've been <laughs> in a long time. I'm very worried about that. 
That, um, that drought in the middle, I think, has really punched us. I don't want that number coming down. I want to see these things starting to fill up. To fill that faster, you need at least two pumps. Oh, well. I don't, like, I don't know. I'll have to see how long it takes. I genuinely don't know how long it's going to take. The good thing is, it's actually operating because that wind turbine's powering it. <laughs> so we're getting some free water. And the issue is, I don't think they're going to build that. Because it's lower than them. Let's see how long it takes. We've got one pump slowly running. And we've got three blocks to go. Oh, technically that'll overflow it. I don't know what. Yeah, I think what'll happen is it'll just fill it up. And then it'll just start to spill over the side, which is fine. I don't have a sensor, but I, it doesn't matter. Like, I can literally see how high it is. Might as well put that up. No wind today. Calm down. Destroying spider dock here. There are no bakeries here. I don't get why I'm storing spider dock. All the bakeries are over there. Was that a misclick? Oh, no, we need it for the bot factory, don't we? Yes. Ignore me. It's needed for the bot stuff. That's what we use to make into fluid. I was like, man, why am I doing that? <laughs> One metal thing there. There's nothing else nearby, is there? metal but no metal mine I think what I'd like to do is get the bots going and then get them on that mine straight away that's kind of the plan also we can actually put more workers here Might as well uh, cash that bad water though. Even though it's got 1200. It's got another 1200 now. Can you buy any more land from the map? No. So this is the biggest map in the game. Well, we're going to use Maple for the bots, I think. Costello or Spider Dock, one of the two. 
We're using maple syrup. If I'm gonna plant potatoes, I'm gonna grow potatoes. Yeah, there's mod support. Absolutely. I'm curious as to what's inside this box. You can't see the Freddo face because it's green. <laughs> That's hilarious. Are you supposed to open these eggs, by the way? There's the egg. You just bash it. Smash. There we go. It's open. Oh, look at that. It's got Freddos inside. Little Freddos in there. Dynamite. Okay, let's see. Uh oh. Ground's approaching. That will connect it to the grid, which means that's going to permanently pump. We've got three days to fill the bathtub. A lot of crop out here. Blame that Freddy on the drought, lol. Hmm. I do like the chocolate in Freddo. <laughs> That's my dessert. Come on, guys. Why can't you reach that? That's so stupid. This thing should be running at full tilt right now. That's a good call. Could do with a sensor here, couldn't I? We could put one down there. Come on, 18 hour days, let's go. This needs finishing. I'm gonna get finished before bed, isn't it? Annoyingly. Yeah, the wind comes and goes. That's what the batteries are for. Six point two K of food. Six point three. That's going the right way. I'm liking that.
potatoes. You can never get enough potatoes. Forty two per cent. One hundred per cent. Oh my god, I don't believe this. I literally put this on a higher priority build than that one. So that they'd build that first and they've built that. Now they can't build that. It's so frustrating. Genuinely. And they can get, they can go to ten tiles away from the path. It's not there. Like if I delete these, they can still do that. Yeah, because from that path square there, that's within ten, so they can walk all the way down there and do it. I'm wondering if it's worth building a um, walkway down the side. Hey, Arsenal. Prime's still not letting you sub. When did it end? I don't know what, I think I'm going to shut this. I have to be careful, actually. That's too early. It's quite a big space, this, but... I want to kind of flood it back a bit. Is it too early? Let's close it. It's quite a big area. I reckon we can fill this up nicely. I should have put a sensor in here. Maybe what I'll do is leave one open. Some more pressure builds up in here. That will start to climb because it can't get out quickly enough. Let's try that. Should be backing up. I reckon that might take like a day or two to fill up. Maybe I could have shut that earlier. That's climbing. <laughs> the last one I had synchronized checkbox set on this. Oh, no. 
That's annoying. Being an idiot. Really, you can't build that? That's annoying. Could have been doing it here as well, couldn't I? Right, 0.7 days. It's only gone up to 0.68. Blimey. Why did you expect them not lining up in the middle? I'm not sure what you mean. Right, 1.75. I think we can close that now. Half a day left to fill that. can probably start backing this up. Close that. Half a day. Let's try closing. Seal it all off. Done. I think that's it. But the only thing we're at risk of now is flooding. The leftmost exit dam could probably also be closed. You mean this one? I already shut that off. What do you mean this one? Because this is all one link. There is a drop from there though. So that will fill this off. As long as that doesn't fill up too much. We don't need to close that yet. If that's what you meant. Yeah, we could pause the pump. Although, technically speaking, it's probably pumping water from here, isn't it? But yeah, probably have to. We can redrain it back, but it will drain into this hole, which is not finished. We'll turn it off when the drought starts. You mean the one in the bottom left corner where the water exits the map? Oh, I see, yes. Yeah, I forgot we built that. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but we might as well keep it.
Uh, Space Dogs, thank you for a bullseye 50 months. Dave, thank you for 113. Kieran, thank you for giving something to Elsinore. Welcome back. Oh, that Freddo chocolate was nice. Cup of tea and Freddo chocolate. What a combo. Oh, I'm gone. 0.96. Are we on now? This is getting a little bit full. About to flood. What's this one? Oh, that's flooding as well. Rip. That's interesting because the water's not coming in. How is the water getting in? Okay, yeah, overcooked it ever so slightly. Hang on. Ever so slightly overcooked it. 0.96. Okay. We good. We started the drought with the main water on 1.0. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is slightly leaked. Let me take the pressure off. Is that water still flowing in from somewhere? Alright, do I need to seal this off now? We can let that drop through. We don't, we're not growing on this yet, so it doesn't matter. Interesting how that flooded. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, the shower is currently offline because it's flooded. Amazing. I think we need to close this off because it's still pumping water through. That's that's the main issue here. Water's still entering this system. Okay, we've got slightly too much water, but I don't see that as a bad thing. The main area's just about flooded <laughs> only slightly maybe we should just blow a valve there we go Right, while well, that's happening, it's time to build some more stuff. Let's pause that. Actually, no, I need to turn it on. It's still flooded. Go, go, go. I think that water's still flowing down somehow. I don't understand. There's no current.
Feels bad, like, letting water go in the middle of a drought. There we go. That's better. We're under control. Right, District 1 has a healthy supply of food once again, although cattail crackers do appear to be disappearing over there still. Two farmhouses are flooded. Um, which ones do you mean? These? Or did you mean something else? Network power supply, 10,000. That's insane. We could basically put them on here as well. Okay, let's try and get some progress going on this side of it. Trying to go, we're trying to go over the to the bot factory. Of course, this could also be a building area, but it is a separate district. I guess we want to run power. We could run it atop the footpath, couldn't we? Might as well follow that line. How much paper have we got? 388. I think we've got enough wind turbines. We're we all far off one gigawatt. Build a support pathway through there. Of that as a two height. Actually, I don't know how much power we're generating. But when the wind's blowing, we're doing like 10,000. Well, that I think was with all the wheels turning as well. Actually, 7,000 when the wind's blowing, but no water wheel. I 
I guess now we've got a, a power grid over here, we can actually think about some more flowing water power, particularly here, because there's almost always water flowing that way. And there's going to be power here now, so we could start to capitalise on that. To finish the connection, what onto the dam? Yeah, that bit. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Rich B, thank you for 74. Okay, Beaker, I'll drop them back to 16. It's not like we're in a crisis, but you know, your union voice has been heard. Wheat flowers building up, that's interesting. Cattail crack is lovely. Uh, yeah, there is evaporation mechanics, Crazy Tom. I think it evaporates and bleeds through the ground, but it does go down slowly over time. I don't know if it calculates it based on the area. So I don't know if you had, say, a 5 by 5 grid, one deep block whether that would evaporate quicker than, say, you know, a 3x3x5 three by three by height block. I don't know if that would go down slower because of the surface area. I don't know. Well, the landfill project is, like, annoyingly slow right now. But that's probably because of that. What we need to do is... Um, that laid in. And then I think we're going to have to rejig all of this now. Is it beaker? So it does look at surface area. Interesting. build it from this side.
Uh, are the arrows on terrain blocks the water flow direction? No, engine. The game doesn't tell you what they are. Basically, they're the direction that the game will build them. It's a really unique thing to a terrain block. No other block has it. It's weird. But effectively, it will start here and build in that direction. What it'll do with this one remains to be seen. can build this side and they can build that side. As long as these paths don't touch, otherwise I'll need a district border. You can't make Beavis build the power pieces you want the way you want, but you can with dirt. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> T-Rex, thanks for 64. Right, let me double check water levels. 0.74 on the critical bit. 0.36, so I might chuck some water out through there. That'll flow into that bit. How are we doing over here? Healthy. I think this is probably one of the most stable water areas in the game, just because it is linked to all of that. I really wish you could choose priority order on build. I really, really wish you could. Not just like how urgent it is, but don't build this before you've built that. Just... If the beavers are going to be dumb, just let me micromanage them easily. Wow, I think we've got zero power. 7,000. Batteries have not even moved. This is, oh, they're going back up. The batteries are going back up, look. There's a slight surplus. Well, if it's automatic, it means they the coders have got to figure it out, and that's a tough problem. But as a compromise, make it easy for us to do it. So get creative. That's um, spider dog. As we get every last bit we can. 
Missing the bit on the power drain between the wind turbines. Uh, you mean that one? Yeah, you are correct. This is nearly connected, look at this. We're now missing just that one, two, one, two, three, four pieces there. And that whole row should be connected. Okay. Now I start thinking about what to do when we get here. I suppose I could do with getting rid of all these little bits of tree. Because they're a bit annoying. Let's chuck a quick lumberjack up. Okay, let's not chuck him up there. That way, he's in range of those two. Eighteen hundred over zero, which means it's not connected. We are literally missing one piece. Oh come! On. I put that piece on the highest priority, and they still managed to screw it up. It's just. <laughs> Honestly, it's actually infuriating. What's the point of having priorities on the build if you're not going to actually follow them? Of course, go to bed and leave it unfinished. I see how it is. Yeah. See that on the side of roadworks all the time. And it's connected. 12.755.060.400. I'd say we've got a reasonable amount of power at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Just for that 20 hour working day next <laughs> tomorrow. Right, well, we're on. 0 0.6. That's fine. 0.4. Probably let another square out. Oh, you're on 2.5, 2.5. Let's let that squeak in. Okay, right. Bot factories. Bot factories. Let's have a look. So we need a refinery. That's going to turn maple that we don't have yet, and also spider dock that we do. The only thing about spider dock is it is part of the food chain. So we do need to be careful with that. 
could quite easily burn through our food chain. Whereas the maple is a different story. Speaking of maple, that's going to die in 10 days, which is okay. At the moment. We could build a block and put water in it, I suppose. Potato seems to... Like, potatoes yield is just terrible. And we've got, like... Where's our potato farm? Where oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Potato yield requires six days to make one potato. And we've got bees in there, which does make them grow randomly quicker. But your beavers get injured a lot. You get stung by the bees. But you're looking at, like, one tile equals one potato and then when you convert that you need two potatoes to make 30 fuel and again if we do make potatoes then we might end up unless we block the export if we grow them over here and block the export we won't interfere with the interfere with the food chain but i suppose with the spatter dock at least we're import restricting the spatter dock, aren't we? Let's have a look at the import restrictions. So, District 1 says if you want. Where's normal spatter dock? One of these here. The. No, that's Cattail. That one. There you go. Imports enabled. However, it's not exporting Spatterdock over there because it's not hitting that threshold. So we're keeping 30% back for the food chain, but we're converting it all into grilled Spatterdock. Well, what does a carrot do? In terms of its... So it's four days to make three carrots as opposed to one day... Sorry, six days to make one. So it's four to three instead of six to one. But on your conversion ratio, two goes to five. So you you don't really do any better. In fact, I mean, without working out all the maths, though, I actually think that's worse than potato. In fact, potato certainly has the best yield. Potatoes are just 30 fuel in 3 hours. Spider dock is 25 fuel in 3 hours. Okay, so we'd need... See, to grow potatoes... The other option is we stop making grilled potatoes. If we stop making grilled potatoes, we can just use all the potatoes here, send them over there and make it into bot fluid. The problem we're trying to get a farm going over here is the water supply. We'd have to ensure that the water supply is, is good. There are parts where it is good, like here. That's the main water source there. Save our grow potatoes all right. <laughs> Well, we could do a water dump somewhere and grow off the back of that. I think I want I want this district to do it. So I think maybe we create a hole here and turn that into a potato farm. Possibly is the best way. That's come down a lot. But we could let that in now. We don't have power over here, so we'd have to mechanically, uh, manually pump it in. Okay, what we'll do is we'll fill this in. At the same time...
How many tiles was it again? Is it six tiles in all directions? One, two, three, four, five. It should do all of that, shouldn't it? It's really annoying that you can't tell them to prioritise the back of this. Well, no, it won't, Beaker. Because, like, water below a certain depth doesn't affect the tile above, does it? We've already seen that. If I drill down and fill it with water, it won't affect these upper tiles. It won't make them green. It doesn't. Look, you can see it. Like, for example, here, right, the water isn't affecting that. Because the position from here to here is not just measured horizontally or vertically. It literally goes, like, diagonal. So that is one, two, three, four blocks that way. But it's three blocks up, which means the length of that is beyond the limit. It's beyond the six, though. Even though it's within four tiles that way, it's still beyond its limit. Because it's like a triangle. Like, that's the hypotenuse side of it. It's longer, like that. And it measures the length from that cube to that cube. And it gets worse. Like, if this tile is higher, it's even worse. Well, it'll go up six, so it, it will make the tiles green here, but what I'm saying is, these tiles over here won't go green once that water supply goes deeper, because the diagonal distance will be longer. So, Beaker, I believe you're wrong in this regard. 2,000 bits of the day. Dude, it, I've, I've literally seen it. I've, lit, I've seen it time and time again. Look, here's a classic example. There's water here. Why is that tile grey? Explain that to me. Why, why is this tile here grey when there's water right there? Why is it not watered? Why is that one watered, but that one isn't? If you can explain that to me, I think we'll solve the problem. And you know what? It just went green. Do you know why it just went green? Because I'm letting water through here. So the level of this just crossed the threshold to make that green. No, no, no. Dragon Hero. The reason it just went green is because... Look at the water level. It just tipped over one block. It's on 1.09. When it was on 0 0.99, that was grey. But when it hit 1.0, it turned that one green because it now counted it as three blocks away, not four. Like, it seems to not go up vertically more than four blocks. So my point remains that if we go down too far here, it won't make any difference to what's going on. It won't green these top tiles. Which is another reason why I did this. Yeah? If you sacrifice more space, it will maintain it at ground level and it will get maximum radius. I rest my case. The water will not go up more than, like, two or three tiles. Well, just looking at this here, I would say it's, what, one, two, three, when it's above that line. The moment it drops below the line of this block, it won't reach that. Anyway, so we're going to make a potato farm. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're making a potato farm, and we need the bot factory over here to do it. I'll tell you wherever so I'll tell you somewhere else I saw it, Beaker, was here. Yeah? When we created this irrigation channel. I literally had to put that there because 
When the water went down too much, all the outer trees went brown. Even though I have an irrigation channel here. You would, you would think that it would bleed out like six squares, but it doesn't because it's of the height as well. So when that dropped below this water level, these went brown. Can't get all required materials. Extract. Are we not importing dynamite? I swear we're importing dynamite. I remember having a dedicated storage for dynamite. What the? No, I did. got way enough dynamite so I'm guessing it has dynamite it needs raw oh it needs the extract to enhance the dynamite of course it does yes it has the bad water here but it doesn't have extract storage okay okay what we can do is sneak in some storage down here Got a question. If you blow up with something like that hill, bring the water level down to reach the ground when it turn green. Uh, yes, it would. It would recalculate the block underneath it and say, yeah, it's got water. It's a pity you can't make sprinklers. <laughs> so I could put a border around that and make this even better water storage, but I don't think we need to. We just need to put a uh, water dump into it. Fluid dump, whatever it's called. Just do that. Effectively. Make it high priority and they'll go and get water and fill it up. Oh, I definitely meant to fill this up, didn't I? Because it can't reach that far anyway. Even though they won't be able to get down there. That's on the other district? No way. As long as I don't connect these footpaths. It's a technically part of a separate... Like, you can go on through here and go through customs, or you can just walk down here and be like, yeah... I think I've actually made these the wrong way around, haven't I? Do it that way. And I build that way.
1.47. Done well this time. Uh, for the percentage of one of you made a channel from the main water routes. Well, we did that already, and it can't like we did that here, see. And it kinda has mixed results. Like it works to a point. The other problem with it is you basically lose a line of potato growing tiles as well. That's the other downside. And like these are already green, making these green. So we're just really after that side. The other thing we can do is put a put a, uh, a lock here so that when we do get a drought, we just lock that off and keep water here as well. So we could just little lap there like that. Probably just that, I'll be honest. Actually, you're probably better with three, because there's three input tiles. So the fastest rate that'll come in is at three. That's your bad water route. Uh, yes, that's true. I mean, that's that. to be honest, that is another problem, is when bad water comes through here. We're not going to be able to grow anything here at all. Or it'll just kill all this off, won't it? Unless we put contaminating barrier there. Anti-contamination tiles. It's another reason why I wasn't going to grow over here. Because, yeah, you are correct. That is the bad water route. And what you should probably do is, like, put a line through here. In case we grow anything there. Wait, why is that dried up when we've still got 0 0.6 days left? Oh, sorry. It's the other way. That was confusing. <laughs> so what's going on? <laughs> Do a sidearm to the right. Would, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Well, as in send the water out that way. Here's a question. If you send the water to the edge of the map, does it just fall off? So if I, like, dynamite through to there and put a gate on it, it drops off. Interesting. Very interesting. So we could, in theory, dynamite runoff strip that way, so we never get bad water down there. Hmm. There's a lot of metal there, isn't there? That needs boxing off, that does. It's a bit of a game changer, being able to control the bad water exit. There's only two, uh, three bad waters left on the map, isn't there? Well, that's a water source. That's a water source, but we can control the bad water of that one. That one. Yeah, that's the main one that if it turns bad, that will be the problem one. Oh, we've even got that hived off. Yeah, I think we'd want to control this through, though. You can even do it near the source and direct the bad water onto the map with gates. We could, except the source is right next to a massive... <laughs> What's causing the bad water? It's just a gaming event. It's just, just a problem for you to deal with.
Upload the one high tile next to the spawn points and you turn it off the map. As in, you're on about exploding this so it turns off the map that way. So if I've understood you correctly, you, I think what you're saying is put a barrier up here and then put another barrier here and get rid of those blocks so you can basically just turn the water back out on itself. Is that what you mean? It sounds feasible and hacky at the same time. <laughs> you can go down a bit and then gates down the stream on the side. It does sound like an exploit. Out of all exploits, that sounds like an exploit, but I like it. It's very cheeky. Just basically saying, yeah, bad water. What bad water? <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to kill our potatoes, isn't it? That's what's going to happen. swim a long way, aren't they? You want to give us some space? I've given it some space. You're, uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, because it's going to slam up against this wall and then want to turn around that way. I think we need to get rid of these trees as well. I'll sort that out. Maybe not overflows, you can build a wall around it. I mean, in theory, you could just build a double height wall all along there, and it would just hit the wall back up and just go out that way. Like, you've already got a drop-off tile, effectively. If you keep squirting it in, and you build a too high wall there, it'll just push back up that way, won't it? If, in theory, it's actually an easier solution. If it works, it won't go over the spawn. No, but it'll go down the side here. Each side of it, won't it? No, think about it. If you build a two height block there, it'll come in and it'll just start to fill up against the wall. Then it'll flow onto this. And then when it gets to here, it'll go that way and drop off the map, won't it? I don't see why that wouldn't work. And it's actually an easy solution because it doesn't involve any dynamite. In fact, most of the building doesn't need to be done. Let me get rid of all this. I'll get rid of this. Get rid of all that. Basically do that. So we demolish... A line of resources there. Like that. Uh, 
I mean, I can still cut all these trees down. And then you build a two height block instead of a one. more or less what you're going to be doing. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> For science, Captain Flint. I get my 314 already. <laughs> it's going to leave some bad water behind at the deepest part. Nah, because what will happen is it will flush it with natural water later. And also, when you do let that down, there'll be a sheer amount of good water mixed with bad. It'll still be fine. Trust me. Be fine. I still do actually want some log storage. Okay. Anyway, what we're not doing is paying attention to what the water level's been doing. Um... Right, we'll open the spillway. What's the symbol with the beaver and the question mark for? Uh, usually means confused beaver, doesn't know what to do or something, stranded. Can mean all kinds of things. Right, they're all on 2.5. That water's fine, that's fine. That can go to 1.5. Uh, we learned the boss leave there. Yes, we are. And that's a spell. Okay, that's okay. We can put the pump back on in theory. Where did you see the beaver with a question mark, by the way? What's that? This building needs deeper water. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Lido is currently closed with water's not deep enough. Love it. It will be shortly. It's already flowing over. Top left. I mean this one. Oh, it means unemployed. It means there's 23 beavers living the life of Riley right now. But we'll put them to work soon. See, look, that's interesting. You see how this is still grey? And tiles are not reaching that yet. This is now making it green. Oh, I told this thing to fill up. Oh, that was the lower level. I'm right, going to make that a high priority workplace. Make sure that stays with water. 
Then we're going to want a... What's it called? An efficient farmhouse for potato. Now, can we get away with him being up here, even though he works down there? No. No, we can't. Do what? What do you mean, put it over the water? Do you think that'll work? Over here? It doesn't quite reach, does it? Or do you mean on a platform over the water? Oh, you meant, yeah, 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 okay. Like that. Good thinking, Batman. Pick that up. Resource prioritized potato. He can have a water pump near the watering hole so the guy working doesn't have to walk so far. Where's he getting his water from? That's the question. Where is that guy? Is he going to the barrel? I don't really want to be in the business of pumping water out here. No, we've not built the tapper shack. Maple's ready, isn't it? Hang on. That comes under... shack okay we're gonna have to and the maple syrup needs to go in a tank doesn't it Yeah, I don't know where he's getting his water from, actually. Let's see if we can see him going out and grabbing some. Is that him? Need to catch him. Shadrala. Currently doing nothing. Yeah. I did, yeah. I kind of feel, Beaker, like he's probably just going to here, which is not a terrible distance. Also, I reckon we'll be able to grow potato here once this is gone. That, that should at least affect some of that, I would have thought. Wow, that scrap metal store's not any fun. Ah, that was the other thing. I was going to get smelters over here for these guys. That was it. Smelting. Hmm. We've got the power. 200 horsepower each. Let's put these people to work, shall we? What's that? Planks. Why has he not cut that piece of wood? I don't get it, he can reach it.
Right, input and output lines. Underground pile. One, two. Okay, scrap metal, pane. Supply metal blocks. I should keep his in metal blocks for a bit. Let's let them build that first. And then we'll build a smelter but mirror the entrance. Okay, I think we're ready for potatoes. Plant crops. Potato. How far can he reach, I wonder? You can actually reach those as well. <laughs> Lovely. I think we might be better. Um, that one. Doing that, and then we can actually use this for storage. Uh, potatoes export. Now, what I want to do is stop the potato from being sent out of District 2, don't I? So if we go to District 2 and look for potatoes, um, which is here, import blocked. Do not import. So that should be... Do not export any goods. So that should stop the export of potatoes, shouldn't it? If I've understood this correctly. Beehives, yeah. Trouble with the beehives is, like I say, we'll lose a square as well. You have to sacrifice one square of potato. Might just stick a beehive though. What does that come under? Beehive. Meh. Such a terrible spot for it. got medical base. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then what we want is some central storage of potatoes over here. So 
so that we take them from the and bring them over here to can be converted into the fuel for the bots. Potatoes. Obtain. No reason not to plant spuds the other side of the road. I don't know. Well, I suppose they'll reach there. The only problem is we can't... When the river stops flowing, they will die. That's the only downside. So as long as we accept that we're going to lose some stuff. the small stru oh you mean this side <laughs> yes now you're quite right about this side how far does that go I mean we could dynamite flatten that whole thing and put another water source there Uh, condiment, thank you for 82 months. Let me just double check we're not flooding the place. Okay, let's flow in there, let's flow in there. Forgot about Project Bad Water. <laughs> I'm liking this. Oh, so that's quite a high level of water through there. Uh, it's all, the latest storage buildings need a path to work. Um, uh, which ones do you mean? Oh, you mean these? Yeah, I think you're right, actually. I think you're right. They won't work at all. Okay, well, it'll have to be nearby storage then. Hopefully the haulers won't leave them lying around very long anyway. True. It's fine, it's just more buffer. Wipe that out there planting. I reckon we could create another farm here by building a water storage column there. Okay, how's this project going? <laughs> this is looking interesting. It's such 
a random way that they cut these trees down. Nope, that's the wrong one. To... <laughs> I would laugh if this works. <laughs> are you, what do you reckon, Beaker? Do you reckon it'll work? You reckon it won't work? Interesting. And why do you think it won't work? Because you built a dam there. What, and the water doesn't fall off the end of the map? Are you serious? What if you dynamite the end tile? What, what would happen then? You didn't try that. Interesting. I'm going to try that. Can't get there yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a line. Oh no, I can't. No, that's fine. I put a line of three there and just create a drop off. It's not like a skill issue. It's fine. We're learning, and this may, you know, they may close this as an exploit at some point, but we'll see. We'll see what the current game allows us to do. District crossing. No goods in stock. Okay. Why not? 24%. Oh, the tree had to mature first, didn't it? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. How's my smelting array going? Come on, let's get these built. We need all the metal. Oh, that's filling up nicely. Oh, I can actually fill this up now. Hang on. Not that. I think we still need a pump, technically, from there to there, because otherwise we can never access that bottom square. So we still need a pump out.
it's too far from a district and cannot be reached by builders. That's true. Oh, I didn't know you could limit the depth on that thing. That's interesting. Fluid, unfiltered, water or bad water. Hmm. I need to make sure I see when that comes online. Otherwise, we'll be pumping water in and pumping it out again. <laughs> Which won't be good. Right, how are we doing? Seven unemployment in District 1. Lots of people not doing anything in District... Right, so we need more homes in District 1. I really wish you could name your districts. It's frustrating. No good reason to stop you naming things. I suppose we should build this level up a bit. We should make a, a walkway down here. Not that. This makes it a bit easier to get out of there. Uh, first ball, thank you for 69 months. Paused here. Lumberjack turned off. Interesting. Building needs power. What is stopping them building this? Look at this guy. Turns up for work. He's like, I can't do anything. There's just no power to the building, so I'll just stand outside. There's nothing else he's doing around here. No path at the bottom of the stairs. Wait, what? I don't suppose you was on about over here was your controls in. Because there is. Yes, there is. There is one there. What do you mean here? No. Do you mean... Ah, you mean that one. Yep, got it. Um, so you can use a district tool. How do you do it? Use a district building to name the district. Ah, there you go. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Um, this is going to have... Let's see. Bot, this is going to have bots in it. It's 
thinking of who makes bots, but then they all make bots now, don't they? Tesla make them, Amazon make... No. Does Amazon make bots? No, it uses bots. NVIDIA makes them now. Hmm. Metal and bots. We'll call these the overlords. <laughs> the overlord districts. <laughs> or districts overlord. There you go. Even better. District overlord. And then this one, I don't know what we're going to call the original district. District main. Hey, that's better. District main, district overlord. Much nicer. Right, let's have a look at what's going on over here. It's too far away. What? It's connected. I've got a path going on. What are you talking about? It's too far away from a district and cannot be reached by builders. Is that lying? I put one here. It's lying. That one's okay, but that one's not. Hmm. What do you mean there's no path on the dam? Don't know what you're talking about. You, you're talking rubbish. There is a path on the dam, clearly. Anybody could see it. Honestly. Stream of viewer blindness. Wow, these trees are getting locked down real fast. Right, am I smelting array online yet? Yeah, let's go. What's the power gen like? Surplus. Come on, we need these buildings. These things can't function without these storage space for it. Eight percent. Forty-seven percent on the potatoes. I know what we need. We need another building hut in this district. Things aren't getting done quickly enough. Priority build. Uh, water pump is not yet online because they're waiting for all the terrain to be finished. Once the terrain is finished, then the, the platforms were built, then the walkway, then the pump. So, yeah, they're just taking their sweet time. They got to move all that earth, you see. How much do we have? Thousand earth. Zero. Whoa! <laughs> That's a big hole! <laughs> what the heck? Guys! Straight through to Australia. Not saved it in a while. Cheeky save. He did say <laughs> That's just nuts. Look the state of that. I just love how somehow a spinning blade carves out a square hole. I think that's breaking physics. I think they hit bedrock and stop and then just keep producing dirt. I'm not entirely sure. It's a lot of cattail at 100% and not a lot of harvesting going on. Is there a problem around here? Cattail root? Got space for it. Unless it just grows quicker than they can actually harvest it, in which case we might need more.
Yeah, I don't know whether to harvest, you know, I suppose. Mm. All right, let's try that. Let's flick one to ha prioritize harvesting. See if that helps churn through it. There might just be too many tiles for that. I don't know how many tiles it can sustain. Oh, this is getting full. I think Jeff's just coming in with the platform now. Love the way it goes like dark blue the deeper it gets. Three smelters online. Scrap metal storage online. Just need the iron output. Okay, we've got the new builder's hut. Flood alert. Where's the flood? Did you think that was a flood? Beaver's injured. Next materials. Unable to get wheat. I think we need another wheat field, if I'm honest. I don't think we have enough wheat anymore. Hmm. I could convert... I suppose one option is to put some bees down here and try and boost this wheat a bit. Yeah, I know we're out of wheat. I think we're just turning all the wheat into bread. And ultimately, we can't make the wheat quickly enough. It's just not a big enough farm. Uh, the gravity battery's up. Hello. 100%. We have 5k bread. We do have 5k bread. It's not like we're desperate for bread, but we have a capacity to make more bread than we can produce wheat now. Let's put it that way. Which means we could, in theory, convert one of the bread to make cattail crackers instead. Let's try that. Yeah, I was wondering about that, Williamson. I was thinking to myself, I don't probably need all of these, but I could flatten this area down one tile and then potentially fill it with some water and make it all nice and green round here. Because this is otherwise dead space. So I might just... I think I'd have to reroute this effectively. Could do the same with this. I did want to keep this as the factory, though, because that's, like, where all the power is. Hmm. I think it's a, a wheat field here would be good because all the, all the granaries and bakers and stuff are all here. So it's quite nice from that perspective. It just means rejigging all this. It's a bit of a pain. <laughs> you might be right, Beaker. Yeah, I don't think a stream running through there is the ideal thing. I think we could take the whole thing down two blocks. So it's at this level. But leave two blocks there and then just fill it as a frame and fill it with water. Or, like you say, just, just rejig this. Just just flatten all this. How far does the water spread out from uh, one of these things? Nine tiles. So nine tiles off the border. 
That is a 5x5, five five, and that worked quite well. <laughs> Explosion's always a good idea. Of course you'd say that. How much dynamite do we have? Lots. Okay. We don't have a dynamite problem. Alright, let's um let's lay some dynamite. So we're gonna drop down. Is it possible to make a tunnel for the water traveler? Yes, but it's not ideal. I mean, yeah, what we, considering we've got water here and here, what we could probably just do is create, is knock all this back and then just create a, a, a what do they call it, irrigation. <coughs> Squeeze me. We could create an irrigation line through there. That's another option. Because this and this and this is all connected. So that would be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it could demolish like that. Actually, they want to go a lot deeper than that, if that's the irrigation line. That's three blocks high, isn't it? Blimey. Let's knock that down for three blocks. Do the same with that. And then, yeah, this just has to go all the way through like that. Maximum explosives. And then on this side, depends how far we want to come up. I suppose we've got to go all the way, haven't we? That needs to go down to that level of water, I think, so that just needs to be singles. Top. Egg. Huh? Your egg. I've not finished my egg, no, I've not even got halfway through. What are you talking about? She's not happy. <laughs> I've not been caught red-handed. It's a lie. You can't prove a thing. I don't know how this egg got onto my desk. I have no recollection. Oh, yeah, this is good. The metal factory's online. Nice. An Easter egg box now states that one-eighth of an egg is a typical daily serving. Hang on. I have an Easter egg box right here. May contain nuts. So my chocolate egg may contain nuts. Let's see. Ingredients, milk, sugar, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, vegetable fat, emulsifiers, and flavorings, but it may contain nuts. 
That is just a catch-all lie, isn't it? Milk solids, blah, 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 blah. No mention of it on here. Hang on. Let's recycle. Cadbury Freddo faces hidden inside. 100% sustainably sourced cocoa. There is no mention of how much you should eat on this box. Okay, mistakes are made. That's gone too deep. That's gonna need a terrain repair now. Which I doubt they can even get down. I oh, actually can get down there. I got distracted by Mrs. Squirrel, that's my lie. Wait a minute. Done it there as well. I want to build that so they can get down there now. Mistakes were definitely made there. One, two, three. These are definitely on threes. No, wait a minute. Why not just who like there aren't any ladders? That's the water level. So in terms of the growing level, one, two, I want to take off. One, two. One, two, three. No, we want to take off two, don't we? One, twos, I believe. Is that correct? Knock off that block and that block, so we're at this level. That's the growing level. Which means these need to be ones. Pump is nearly complete. It's a pity there's no, like, you can't have an auto shut off valve on that and say, when the water on that side is at this level, a bit like you can with these uh, floodgates, to say, when it's at 3.5, stop pumping. Oh, when it reaches four, stop pumping. It's, it's just going to keep pumping, isn't it? I have to manually turn it off. It'll stop. What, once it can't pump anymore, it'll stop? Interesting. Well, that's cool. Cool. Right, are we anywhere near ready to make bots? <laughs> Spadadoc has gone. I don't know where that spadadoc has gone. That's interesting because we are not using spadadoc, so how the heck has that disappeared? District Overlord should not be exporting spadadoc again. Um.
uh, import enable by storage do not import import always always import the goods to the district crossing even if there's no matching storage connected districts will balance goods between themselves based on storage fill rates and expert threshold so if I do that I think what that, that's saying is this district will import the goods until it has this many. Seven out of 400. Yeah, there it is. So it shouldn't allow it to be taken back unless it has at least 100, I think. I think that's how that works. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, wait, is that four tiles wide? That's five tiles wide? I didn't realise that. Rip. Blimey, good job I checked this. We're going to test this with normal water to see what happens. What's up with him? A lot of swimming going on here. On that basis, I would say that this is probably going to work, isn't it? Adobe, thank you for gifting us up to Askan... How do we say that? Askaniska. Askanisaka. That's a palindrome, isn't it? So you can do this then. I don't know if it happens here, but it's definitely happening here. Crank your own exit points. I think maybe you just need to go down to bedrock. I'm assuming that's bedrock. No, it's not. That's not even bedrock. That must be bedrock, though. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Pause that pump. getting there now then we need to get up here oh it's a lot of explosives
The good and the bad water will flow off the map right there without removing the ground. Well, we wasn't sure. There was mixed opinion on that. I think it was Beaker was saying that he tested it and it didn't go off the map. And then somebody else said it did, but... We're going to test... Once this is up, we're going to test it. Uh, Yoku, thank you for 33 months. That maple must be getting ready now. These are nearly fully grown. These are 33% through. Crikey, it takes a long time to mature, doesn't it? 12 days per cycle as well. We could probably make some of the bot parts. Let's have a look. We can't make the refinery, but we can make the arm, but not the body, and we can make the head. <laughs> We've got a local gear import going on. Yes, we do. make sure they keep back some of their stuff. I suppose we could start making these because it takes forever to make them. There's no point building an assembler, but we can build a bot part factory. The refinery can't do yet. We might as well get this going. Crikey, that is a big building. Hundred and fifty horsepower each. So I just build it. stack them. Interesting. We might have to do that. Uh, planks, gears, and metal blocks. They've got all of that nearby. What we need is an output storage. I can't imagine we're going to make lots of these, but... <laughs> I like I want to drop that down one level. You need six of them, not three. <laughs> really? Why six? after the launch date. Is it really? They're finally releasing it. Oh, 
that's annoying. Oh, I see. Right, we've got to choose the recipe. Hmm. Well, we can't make the body. 18 hours to make a body. So we can make four arms to one skull. Well, I guess you put the skull on that. And that. And put that on arms. Great. And spotted it, done that. I'll tell you what, man, well, we've broken it already. Flood. What is going on here? I think some water backed up and then I don't know what's going on. Don't know what's going on there actually. But let's um let's drop some water away quick. sure why it's done that if I'm honest considering they're all on zero I think it's you got five squares of input and then it's like, it's like a pinch point with three on it does have a tendency to force things to go this way as well let's close that up It's fine, we'll deal with it. We're draining the water. Look. <laughs> we can overflow it here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> we may find out very quickly if this works. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I haven't even tested this thing yet. Well, rip. Well, the trouble is, if I test it with normal water, then I'll basically create a dam and then. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, when I open it up, it'll just all come flooding through. It's it's definitely an issue. And the other thing is, I've not finished doing that yet. I don't know if that matters. I think they're on the way. That's draining. Very quickly draining. Basically flooding that instead, but we don't care about that.
Hey. We're getting there. It's under control. Okay, I think we're ready for bad tide. The other thing we've never tested is bad tide going this way. We've never, ever used that thing yet. Which means I actually do want to start storing water now. We've never tested that sluice run. Actually, it doesn't matter, does it? Because it's all going to get flushed out. Basically, we don't have this extra dam is how this is going to work because all the bad tides are going to go that way. Hmm, this will be a fun test. <laughs> okay, I think we can knock that back to half now. have a gap dude <laughs> i need more info than that right so what's uh the bad part is we're gonna get no water through here so um i don't know how this is gonna work Potato, plant crop jeez it's taking the time making this Okay, that water is is full um we can stop the bad tide coming this way potentially now so we can effectively shut that off i think we need a water sensor here we can shut that off and try and hold water though i feel like the bad time dam needs to be a little higher well i feel like it's too late for things like that adobe I think we've got what we've got now, and that's the end of that. What's bad tide? Basically, so you know the bad water source here which produces toxic water, basically, that corrupts the land around it. All the normal water sources turn into those. So that will now produce toxic water. And that. And they are the two water sources on this map. And how long that will last, I don't know. Have they still not finished this terrain? <laughs> like, come on, guys. Come on, finish the job. Well, we've got water. I think we're mostly okay. Explosions, multiple explosions. Okay, the last bit we need to do is this.
no drop down point for this. Okay, I think we need to prioritize these over these. Like two days to bud water. We are going to start backing up the water supply. How long was it last time? Before we shut that off and back this up? It's at least a day. It's about to be fixed. Whoa, that was weird. It didn't mouse capture brief. No, what happened was it didn't mouse capture briefly, and my mouse left the screen, so the sound went. <laughs> And then came back again when I clicked back in. That was super weird. It was so weird. I need a Freddo to calm me down. You like the idea of a comfort freno? So do I. Right, one and a half days. I'm going to try closing the extract. And slap, let's back up now. This is going to be interesting how to see how this works out. All this planning. The last time we had a bad water event, things were very different. You know what? How long ago did I do that? More free tiles. Whoa, that's a lot of grill spattered up.
Yeah, I don't think they're coping. I think we need another one of these. Oh, scumbag. They're definitely not coping with the amount of um, stuff they're dealing with here. I think what we can do is rotate it that way instead. It's better. Right, what's the level? 0.86. It's filling up pretty fast. What's it like back here? Four point nine, blimey. Okay, so that's too early. Let's try opening one. Just letting it eke out. Got some maple going. Right, we need storage now for all our like bots and bot pieces. So we got bot heads there, bot limbs here. I think we need another bot. What else do we need? The bot chassis, which we won't be able to make at the moment. It takes 18 hours to make the skull, 18 hours to make the chassis, and four and a half hours to make an arm. Does it need two arms per thingy? In which case, it might be that we need another arm there. Four arms? Yikes. Yeah, we could actually place the storage above us. Not a bad shout. Unless we stack the... We either stack the factories. Or we'll just put the storage above it. Two hands and two legs. Hmm. Right, skull. Let's see, skulls in that one. Uh, arms and arms. Then we'll have the box chassis in that one. Do we need to store the bot, or will the bot just appear? Punch cards. Hmm. We need to obtain them from the other place. So when the when the factory makes the bot, does it just start walking around? I know it, there's no point making the assembly yet because we're not making the refinery because we're not making maple syrup or potato. The bot just works 24-7 aside from refueling.
can't get paper. Are we not importing paper? I bet we have no storage for paper here. to check how much paper we're actually making. Um, district. Let's have a look. Main district paper. It's keeping half of it back. Okay. I should get some in. Point nine, that's pretty good actually. Wait, save game. Right, we need to get ready. We need to basically fill up the main dam. This means closing that off. We'll allow that to drain out. I have to be very quick when the bad tide starts. <laughs> that one six let's close that off point three of a day oh, hang on. no we don't want to close that off now we want that to flow into here as well that can stop No, I don't think there is a floodgate menu. You have to kind of go around and do it. I'm going to stop the water coming into here because it will probably flood. It's about to flood anyway. It's flooding. Shut it off. That is pretty full. <laughs> Okay, so first thing we do is we shut all of this off and we open that up. Next thing we do is we hope this works and shut all of this off. Ooh. Blimey, that was close. Remember, this has never been tested properly, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, so the bad tide's going to push that through. This bad tide is hopefully going to leave the map. 
which it appears to be doing. Definitely appears to be doing that. That is ever so slightly contaminating our water. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. It's contaminating the main water supply. I think we need some more emergency blocks here, don't we? Just to help guide it through there. It's just because of the, the, the turn, the angle, isn't it? That's what's doing it. It's dropping out of there. It's very slightly contaminated, this water, but it should be okay. Some adjustments on that. It's under control. I think what I should have done was started to drain through the. Yeah. I should have basically opened these barriers before the tide started. It would have taken the pressure off this. Because it just kind of rushed in, didn't it? When I shut these gates, it backfilled. It's a lot of nasty. So they they still running, so we still get the power out of them. And everywhere else seems to be alright, apart from this. This is backfilling. I suppose we can afford to lose a bit of water, can't we? Beavers run well, probably walked into that bad water, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay, so we need to trash that now and cancel. That's the issue. They're basically going in the water, but they should be okay because we have a treatment facility. On stranded. No. No, sorry, Jeff. <laughs> I've left him sat in the water. This is not good. <laughs> Mr. Zerkoi. Gone. Zerkoi. The tainted. <laughs> Mistakes were made. As long as he builds that and rescues him, it'll be okay. Saving private zircon. There he goes. Just a little bit more. He just literally just sat in this stuff. It's fine for now, but it'll get sick in a few days. It's not fine. They're not exactly rushing over here, are they? They're just leaving him all night long sat in that water. What a bunch of scumbags. Oh, 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 dynamite. Dynamite. Lots of dynamite.
It's like, hey, it's a double, isn't it? That's that irrigation channel looking. Uh oh. Wait, why is that? Oh, that was a flood zone. Phew. I thought I'd dried up then. Oh, it's like one, one dynamite block is too far. One. Outrageous. That's weird. Uh, you're missing two on the top floor. What, these two? Yeah, they can't get to them. Because that's more than ten squares, annoyingly. Mm. That's a frustrating one to fix. So these need to come down too, and then all these need to come down one, don't they? This means there are two as well. Down in mind, do we have? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is definitely wrong. This is our building level. I don't want dynamite here, do I? No, I'm not sure about those levels. I'm pretty certain that these should be a single. They should be a single. This this is the level we want, isn't it? Because there's the water there. So we knock that back, we knock that back, that's all that level. This is already on the right level. Which means That just needs knocking back one block. That's a explosion depth two, which is correct. These are an explosion depth of one. They're all correct. They're all twos. These are all ones. Yeah, I think the rest is fine. And we'll need another channel of water through there. That's going to get built. That's going to be the watering irrigation point that's a two so that'll bring it down to that depth yeah the only problem to solve now is this one but I think we should just go for it
It'll be a blast. Paul, you're still missing two to the left of the Staris. The Staris? On Amici. You mean those two? I got them. <laughs> Did you rush to type that? <laughs> Hang on, something else is wrong. These shouldn't be dynamited at all, should they? Because this is our building level. Actually, what you want to do is landfill that in. It doesn't matter though, we can still grow in it. Someone is bound to notice, I agree. now joined up. Woo. Interesting how that hasn't gone green. Why has that not gone green? I don't understand. Why is that not green? I think it did close the south then. Mr. Wyland. Drop in 20 subs. Thank you so very much, Wyland. Thank you, mate. That's really appreciated. Welcome, guys, to the Nerd House. If you just got a sub off Mr. Wyland, give him a massive thank you. Enjoy your new emotes. Refresh your page. No more ads. For a month. Five more? <laughs> Squeaky. Thank you, Wyland, for an extra squeak. Five. I don't think you dodged anything, sugar glider dude. <laughs> Welcome to the house, guys. Thank you for your gifts, Wyland. Is that what he was doing, Matty? Just rounding it up. Adobe dropping five as well. Thanks, Adobe. Three of those are brand new subs, Adobe. Okay, I am a little concerned as to why that is not gone green. By all accounts, it should go green. To make it go green, you need to be too wide. Okay, let's try that then. Is that the rule? All right, I suppose we'll get rid of these first. Let's 
Maybe we'll just create a rectangle there. I've created a rectangle there, then come this way and create another block here. That should do it. I should add, the Discord recently had a pretty good facelift, so if any of those getting gifted sub aren't in Discord, I highly recommend joining. Hey, Mighty, why don't you run that Discord command? <laughs> it's a good point, Mighty, thank you. Yeah, we, we completely redid the uh, Discord server. So if you've not been in for a while, consider jumping in and having a look around. We've improved the whole onboarding experience. The room's been simplified. So if you're not in the Discord, why aren't you in the Discord? Also get notified in the Discord server. You can get notified when I go live, when I post a tweet, when I post a video. It'll just notify you in the feed. I don't think we need that. In fact, if anything, I think we need to terrain fill this back. Not active enough to be in the Discord. Well, if you're in the if you've got the Discord app and you're in my Discord server, you can choose to be notified when I post a video or go live. And then your Discord app will pop up on your phone to say new video from Squirrel or Squirrel's gone live. It's actually quite handy. It is was a pain for Prime subs, you kept having to rejoin. You shouldn't have to because your grace period is long enough that you can easily just resub with Prime. You get a few days of grace. It shouldn't be a problem. Try it again. Holy lag. Try that. Okay, how's the water doing? Nine point eight six, that's fine. That's a little a little bit low. All point four three over by the potatoes. What we can do, we can seal off the potato thing and maybe let a bit more down this way. Into the. Oh, we got maple syrup. We are starting to get maple syrup. Nice. Yeah, I think we managed to rescue Jeff. I think he's he's gone out of there now.
Might as well just background cut those away. Do you have guilt over your bad water drainage solution? No. No, why? Because I don't use any mods and the game allows it. As far as I'm concerned, the developers will allow this to happen. I don't know how they're going to stop it from happening, if I'm honest. Unless they basically restrict you to only certain exit points on the map. That's the only way they can actually do it. We've got six on wild beavers. But we have enough antidote. I've antidote for days. It certainly is a creative use of game mechanics. Well, your your mission is to get rid of the bad water and and stop it from affecting you. So unless they provide specific exit points for liquid, I mean this is still pretty bad. Look at this corruption here. And at some point, I want to tap into that ruin. Good luck with that. At some point, I want this. I'm going to have to, like, wall less off. Once the bots are online, I want this. Speaking of bots, we need the main factory. The building isn't connected to any district. What? got to be kidding. That is a complete lie. How is that not... Oh, you scumbag game. They look like they're doing nothing. What are they waiting for? The bot chassis. Biofuel. Unable to get required parts. Well, they should be able to now. Right, I need the refinery, I think. Where's the refinery? Uh, okay. Can you choose which recipe it uses, I wonder? Can we specifically say maple syrup? You can. Cool. Will that fit on there? Yes, it will. I don't know how many of these things we need, but we'll make three. I don't think I want this terrain filling in to look the same. So we can kind of expand this if we want to.
effectively mirror that on the other side. I think two refineries to one uh, to one catalyst. Right. Inaccurate marksman, thank you for 76 months. So the question is, he gets maple syrup from over there, which is in a big tank. I think we need a local tank. For the syrup. We should be nice near that staircase. And then the output of that recipe, biofuel based on... We're going off potatoes, aren't we? Catalyst, what's that? Potatoes. Building isn't connected, fine. don't think we're going to have anywhere near enough potatoes for this. See, the one thing I can't do right now is get water back over into this bit. But I don't think it matters as long as water flows into here. Because that level there is one up from this level here. Speaking of potatoes, how far are they? It's 12%. We must have had a yield. Potatoes go here. I think I stopped them from being exported, if I remember. Let's see. District Overlord. Potatoes. Yeah, they're building up here, aren't they? 249, zero export. So we do have some. Here's planks and bot limbs. What are the what are the punch cards for again? Bot speed, right, okay. So what's Catalyst, then? It's one of the recipes was for Catalyst. What's that? Boost Catalyst, what does that mean? Same thing. Oh, so the maple syrup is the same as a punch card. <laughs> Why do we need two different things? That's so weird. Now, when the bots are made, do they just start wandering around? Just doing things. And what's the fuel they need? Some catalyst made from bad water. I don't know. 
You have to earn science points to allow them in buildings. Ooh, interesting. So I could fill that place with bots, is that what you're saying? Or I could fill that place with bots. You need to assign them where you want them to work. Otherwise, what do they do? Just wander around. There's a few buildings they can't use, like power wheels. Interesting. They don't know how to run in a little hamster wheel. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but can they, for example... They can't help with building, I presume, because you can't assign them. Like, can you make a, um, a builder's hut and then assign bots into it so that you've got bot builders? They can. That's cool. I don't know how big they are. I'll tell you what, we're doing well for lack of vacancies. In fact, District Main needs a few more, but there's 30 kids growing up, but not enough beds. Six of them are still contaminated. After that little accident up north. They can be halls as well. Oh, that's cool. You can have 24... No, builders are better. 24-hour building is way better. 24-hour building and hauling. Superb. Oh, batteries are drained a little bit. Yeah, I don't know where the fuel is stored, to be honest. Probably have paused that, shouldn't I? Exactly, just got all the machines are just doing the work and all the beavers are like ah, on the Lido and in the mud bath going, this is this is great. Bots are brilliant. And then the bots become sentient, rise up and kill all the beavers. And then the game ends. That's how it works, right? So there's the maple syrup. So what about the fuel then? So that's the fuel, the biofuel. The only problem with these machines being stacked is it's very hard to click underneath. They're going to run out of potatoes fairly quick, I imagine. Oh, that water level looks very low. be able to let that water out of here now. It's a nice little buffer, this. And particularly for a bad water event. Just gives a little bit more duration through the... I think it would be sensible to put um, gates here as well, so that we can actually let water out that way. the option 
Because that ultimately will feed this side if you want to keep water down there. You also want to play small fuel catalyst and punch cards just to use the place so the bots can easily refuel. Interesting. So you've got to put like fuel drops around the place. Crikey. Yeah, exactly. Little, pe little petrol stations for the bots. That's what it is. You got one down here. Of course, it's too far. Of course, it is. I think we might punch cards in here somewhere. I can't remember where punch cards are made, but I'm sure we're making them. Was it over here? There you go. 114 punch cards. I actually don't know where they're going. We're making books. I don't know where the punch cards are going. Why do we only have 114? Like, why is that not topped out? That's weird. Books are eaten by beavers. Yeah, but what's consuming the punch cards, considering we don't have any bots? I don't believe for one minute I've only ever made 114 since I made that building. Because that's just a lie. <laughs> I'd be moved to the other district. Um, I'll make some more paper, I think. Petrol station there. But we need something over here for punch cards and biofuel. Here'll do. That looks like that went wrong somewhere along the line. to do. I think these guys need some uh, like a dance hall or something. And they, <laughs> They've got a great rooftop terrace going on. It really is good. But you just can't beat a dance hall. 
We can even do the carousel over here, considering how much power we have. Uh, where is it? Lido, Herbalist, Rooftop Terrace. There it is. Dude, I can't put the dance hall on the roof. It's massive. Look at it. I need a very big roof to pull that off. See, there is a dance hall here. I don't know if ones from this district will go there and use the dance hall. Let's have a look. Wooden fence, wind gauge. I don't get what the bulletin pulls for. Is it just a bit of whatever? Like a scarecrow. <laughs> A shrubbery? Should do a little shrubbery down there. <laughs> little hammock. Don't think your hammocks belong there, though. Right, the, uh, the bad water event's about to end, which is interesting. This water's not really gone down. I've had no need to pump any back out again. The um, potatoes have survived. That water level's managed to stay static. This one's dropped quite a bit through here, but that's mostly because we pump water for drinking. What would be interesting is to see how this flushes through. That probably needs some guide blocks just to help it. Or maybe we sort of reroute the way that goes somehow. Ideally take it past this, I guess. You can't cope with the flow. Because it, like... It's too pretty fast water coming through, and then the merging and just spilling everywhere. Well, there's the flush. Okay, we'll let it run there and just clean all that out. Now then. That's gone fairly quickly. You could put a statue there to future robot overlords. Yeah, good then. That's pretty much gone. Nope, oh, tidal wave coming through. <laughs> Start opening the spillway. No need to say how good what is, cool tiger. To be honest, I might be better off flushing this from this direction. I think that's cleaned that out. Yeah, let's seal that off. I'm gonna open this, I think. And we'll send the water that way.
Or well, this one. Yeah, we've got a meter here. Zero percent. Zero percent in there. I'm not entirely sure why I did that. The exploit area. Wow, Beaker. Wow. Wait, Billy needs water. Okay. Building will get water. Why did they never actually... You're going to start using it as well. <laughs> That's not an exploit. That is, like, if the devs don't want it in the game, they feel free to take it away. But while it's there, I'm going to use it. If they decide, oh, no, 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 you can't be doing that, they need to stop you from doing it. Let's uh, open this down here so the water can get out over here. I think we normally allow water through there as well. flush that through a bit not sure you can use it on a map with six massive craters as the water source is about 10 miles down well it's map specific isn't it beaker that's the other thing Okay, they're on 2.5. Right, have they finished building this? I put maintenance hatches in here, didn't I? Yes. Okay. So in theory, they can still get over here. Your map, it's a giant spiral with water source in the middle. What, a giant spiral going down or a giant spiral going up? Going down, right. So your water source... See, I think if your water source starts high, the map is easier. Like, this main water source starts at virtually ground level. This one's a little bit elevated, but there's nothing up here. 
It's like if something starts high, it's much easier to dam early on. Whereas the lower down it is, you want to get pumping tech later on. So it becomes a bit harder, I think. Let's play a different map because I was biased from watching your game. <laughs> Lol. Right, is that done? Okay, we should be able to get rid of these now. Which annoyingly is going to break this. I have to build a platform over here. take water out in that direction if we need to. Right, are we actually made any bots yet? How's the old bot factory going? Bot chassis, bot limbs. Did we build the assembler? Bot limbs, bot heads. I'm not sure we did, you know. No, we didn't actually build the assembler. <laughs> Okay, there's the assembler. It makes a bot every 36 hours? <laughs> what? 36 hours? Three days to make a bot, and it takes 50 gears and 50 bits of steel? My word. Right, well, our metal is actually running quite low. I'm not really sure why, because I've got multiple smelters going on here. Maybe it's in the other district. Now oh, that's the global view. 598 and 131 in Overlord. Are we exporting? Assemblers not four, dude. That's a lot of power. I am trying to work out why we're not smashing metal out right now. We've got scrap metal for days. I need the bots for this. Alright, how big is this thing? Alright. Annoyingly, you can't stack it. That's a bit frustrating. Oh, it's bigger than everything else, of course it is. Of course it has a different footprint. What happens when they break down? Of course the door's in the middle. The trouble is, if I put them there, they won't have power. It's the same as a beaver dying. Oh, okay. So they have a lifespan. 
interesting. Yeah, I can't really put the um, assembler there because it won't have any power supply. Some building land back. Right, how's the water doing? One eight five, eight nine. Nine two, that's quite high. Nine five, that's really high. I'd like to do something with this bad water routing. Get me the storage for the bot parts and connect the assemblers vertically. Yeah, I could put the assembler on top of that building. But it means moving all this, doesn't it? It's fine, I'm just going to put the assemblers here. That is definitely going up. I think we need to open up this one. Let the water out a little bit quicker. In District Overlord, we're doing all right numbers-wise, but in Main, we have 10 vacancies. Whoa, zero dirt. What? Yep. Do some more peeps in District Main. Might make sense to expand the river out a little to compensate the extra water we have. You mean which river do you mean? You mean this one? Like the Southwest Spillway. Let's call this the South Spillway. Do you mean that one? Or do you mean this western spillway. Yes. Okay, that's clear. <laughs> oh, look at that lovely biofuel. Loads of it. Loads of biofuel. Yeah, let's go for bot assembly. We are going for bot assembly. One. No, oh, that's not going to work. To drop some power down. Line them up that way.
should do it. Yeah, the grid system like battleships. Yeah, it, it needs some reference points, doesn't it? So you can even just discuss it. Uh, Hart, thank you for 23 months. Kodiak, thank you for 28. Tom Sunday, thanks for 111 months, sir. There you go, 8-5. Yeah, I mean, we could, um... Could widen that. That's got three exit down there. Probably wouldn't hurt to increase the exit capacity. See, it's pinched through there, but it's fine. You've got three and three coming together, and then a an exit that can't really cope. This is the biggest pinch point, isn't it? Can effectively change that for one of them. And then just remove that run through there. I'll open that up. can figure that out. You can just see the flow. Look how much it pushes that bad water away, that's how quick that flow is. Whoa. I'll tell you what, when that wind slows down, the batteries really are getting used, and when those bot assemblers come online, we're going to lose, what, is it 200, it's like a thousand horsepower just between those bot assemblers? That's mad. Um, guys, can you move away from the explosives? I'd hate to injure anybody. <laughs> I'm trying to time this so I don't kill anybody. There we go. Okay, that has in fact turned that green nicely, apart from that bit. Cool. Oh, very pleasant. So just that square there, which we could fix if we wanted to by sacrificing possibly... So if you're going to do it, you might as well do it over here and get that green as well. I'm 
try one deeper. Well, the, the trouble with going one deeper is it will get further away at the extremes. Because the water level's not going to go up from where it is. It's at 0.63 of this block. So you got 1.4 down. So if you drop that down again over here, then you'll end up with a further distance over there. As soon as that starts to drain away, that will very quickly go dry. It will stay at the level for now, Cool Tiger, yes. But once that level drops in a drought a little bit, that the extremes will disappear very quickly. We could channel that out an extra block. We could do that. But it'll still go at the extremes first, no matter what. Given what we've got going on here, I don't even think we need to. Can they get to this? Is it time to put the water wheels on that spillway canal by the dam? Uh, over here. I don't know, dude, because, like, I'm thinking this flows a lot. This over here. The problem with putting the water wheels here is getting the power back. The nearest power connection is here. It's such a long way to get power. Now, if you was to use this one instead, then the nearest power is here. Much more doable. We need to see what our operating overhead is. Well, we're not short of power, no, but when all the wheels stop turning, will our wind turbines keep us going through? We might have to turn the bot assemblers off or something in a drought. Eleven point eight over nine, and they are not online yet, so it's going to be eleven point eight over ten, which is not a big overhead to charge batteries up if we've had a bit of a drop. Building needs power. Amazing. It's almost like I told somebody to make some stuff. It's 36 hours before the first bot comes out. Just haven't done this yet. Oh, 321 potatoes. Potatoes are backing up now because we're not using the biofuel yet, but we will shortly. That looks like pea soup. <laughs> Bot construction has begun. Uh, I don't believe we're exporting biofuel. Well, we should be exporting some biofuel to District Main. Biofuel District Main, there we go. So we'll probably keep some over there.
Right, when are I exporting them? make paper over here anyway. Don't tell me storage tanks for catalyst. Uh, maple syrup. I don't know if I'm making catalyst, if I'm honest. I don't think I selected it. I figured we didn't need it at the moment. Um, because I didn't have any maple syrup at the time, I think. Is it that one? Yeah, maple syrup. Refinery. It's these things, isn't it? Dead space is annoying. There you go. You're building beer vats, pretty much. <laughs> Still doesn't quite reach that corner. That is frustrating. Basically make a walkway here and build stuff on it, can't we? Uh, the last catalyst factory is not connected. This one. Ugh. Thank you. You guys don't miss a thing. <laughs> Give it that. Okay. I think we'll just widen this and then we'll be done for the day. Got a four width extract through there now.
wish there's a way of actually just doing this that having to click each one to kick it off. Just swipe an arrow and go detonate. It's taken a long time to put that piece of dynamite down. <laughs> Here he is. There's the man. Ulkaneth. Oh, and along comes the builder, wires it all up. The explosives are there, he just needs them to actually put the wires together. He's got to have a beaver detonation, beaver detonation safety certificate in order to be able to wire that up. And this is this could be the man right here. Vulzala. There he is, the specialist. Safety specialist. In action, off he goes. And that is now four wide. It would definitely improve the flow through there. We need to get rid of water quickly, we can do it. Bloody building. Bermagird. Interesting. How on earth has it managed to flood over there? I guess it just can't leave quickly enough. we'll have to go that way well that's annoying because I can't easily unflood that <laughs> maybe I need to fit a pump on it hmm well there goes metal production <laughs> Mr. Borpro thank you very much sir for gifting 10 subs appreciate the support thank you guys if you just got a uh, sub, please give it to Ball Pro a massive thank you. Enjoy the emotes, refresh your page. No more ads. Yeah, that sucks. Because um, that's not an easy one to solve. Luckily, I can dump water through there a bit quicker. Can we just put a discharges water or bad water? How do we get that out of there without building a powered pump? Which is difficult because I can't get any power over here. Unless I build a pump and a wind turbine, that might work. What if we do that? What if we basically build a large water pump? Use a normal pump for water. Or one of these. They're massive, aren't they? See, that could go like that, and then a wind turbine next to it. <laughs> Almost fits now.
Yeah, Matty, I, if I don't do this now, I will 100% forget to solve this particular problem. And you know it. <laughs> Well, the problem with the smallest pump is it has to be beaver-powered, whereas if I put this up, it'll just get on with it. And if it has its own wind turbine, it's just like full autopilot. I think you should raise a block by one. Well, in theory, yes. I might as well while it's all flooded anyway, right? I just hope they can make it down here. I don't. I don't think they'll be able to make it. Bieber pump is a lot cheaper to build and quicker. It is. One of these requires a beaver to run it, but yeah. Trouble is, hmm. I suppose they just pump the water out to nowhere, don't they? We just do that. Yeah, it's whether they're going to be able to pump it in quickly enough. Oh, you know they're going to mess this up. A hundred percent somebody is going to get trapped here. They're going to build something and be like, oh, I don't know how to get back now. There's no point giving the... Okay, they've got the gate up. Let's do that. Let's stop the water going in. That's a start. Right, we have four bot assemblers. Wait, there must be a bot running around. Must be, because he started and he's now on 46% and he's on 53. There must be a bot running around somewhere. Four thousand science points. Wait, there's no bots yet? Are you serious? Well, I'm sure he started. Just three unemployed. Not bothered about three unemployed. Because they might not be in this city. It's 
Scrap metal production's flooded. That's the problem. <laughs> Wait, why does that say zero? Don't tell me it lost all that. Hopefully they just got moved over here. First row, third icon is bot. Yeah, we have got bots. Yeah. The question is, where are they? Where are the bots? Oh my life. Are you supposed to find them in here? Oh. <laughs> what are they doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's got biofuel, he's got a catalyst and a punch card. Carries nothing. Gotta sell him to a job. Well, I will do once we get this built. No available workers in district. See about that. Wait, why can't I assign the bot? Get the bot in though, let's go. Timberbot1, we've found you a job, mate. <laughs> Go and operate this pump 24 hours a day. <laughs> Come on, where is he? There he is. I think he just went to work. There he goes. Timberbot1 is now pumping. Amazing. We'll have that place emptied in no time. Blue building is bot run. Yellow is normal. Oh, you mean the door, though? I don't know if they're faster. I think it depends how much boost you've given them. Because you can basically speed them up. Anyway. I think we have to call it there, guys. <laughs> Done quite a lot today, actually. We've worked a few things out as well. We've dealt with a bad water issue, improved the flow of water, increased our power battery supply, increased our wind turbines, put power over here, put smelters down, and got bots online. All in a day's work. It's all right, isn't it? Save that. Right. That is it for me. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll be back tomorrow at 11 o'clock, usual time. Let me just detonate that. There we go. Lovely. That should go green, in theory. Nice big map it is. Right. See you tomorrow morning, hopefully, um, for another stream day. I'm streaming Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So all through the uh, bank holiday weekend. All through Easter. Same times. So hopefully I'll see you at 11 tomorrow. If you're heading out, enjoy the rest of your day. Otherwise, I shall see you in the morning. Take care, guys. Love you all. Good night. <laughs>